I'm stuck in the north. <laughs> Help me out, bro. Step, step, bro. Step, bro. Step, bro. Step, bro. I'm stuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, you terrific, thoughtful, tremendously talented teens, and welcome to the Trash <laughs> Taste episode. Teens? So I, I just wanted to beat Joey's alliterations. Oh, <laughs> now I know how fucking stupid it sounds. <laughs> Wait, did you think it sounded not stupid? No, I didn't. I didn't how, how did you think it sounded? I didn't think head? it sounded that Joey, stupid. Joey, Joey did it. He's like, that was a fucking good one. Yeah, yeah. in my head, I was <laughs> like, damn it. Got damn. bars. Damn, how, how come I didn't do that? Bars. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to the Trash Taste podcast. I am your host for today, Gant, and with me again are the boys, Joey and Connor. That's me. That's us. Yes. How's your week been, guys? It's been all right. I mean, we should be asking you that yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. Because you've Why? had a- Are we here on a Thursday? Yeah, okay. we are okay. here on a Thursday. Okay, so I know- If you I've, couldn't tell. <laughs> so so I, know, I know I've not been uh, putting trash taste on the best of records recently. You know, uh -huh. we've uh, put the streams, uh, we've delayed the streams two weeks because uh, I unfortunately got COVID. And mm. now we've had to delay the stream for two days now. Mm because I got stuck in a snowstorm because I was up in Hokkaido. Man can't get a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I am playing Gatron life and I am losing on every yeah. fucking roll, I swear to God. Um, but no, that's exactly how it felt because I was up in uh, I was up in Hokkaido, mm. just, just on a trip, just on a trip with me in Sydney for mm. like a good like four or five days. Yeah. And we were scheduled to come back on the Monday. Yeah. And if anything happened on the Monday, I could have come back Tuesday morning mm. to record Trash Taste because yep. my entire life is planned around Trash Taste <laughs> Recordings. I'm sure your yep. your guys are yep. uh, lives is now as Pretty well. Much, yeah. Um, and unfortunately, on on Monday, I woke up, mm. checked my flight. My flight was cancelled. I was like, "All right, whatever." It's Hokkaido. We can expect that to happen sometimes. Yeah. Um, I look on the site to rebook my flight, and every single flight for the entire day mm. is just cancelled, 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 cancelled. Um, so how bad was the storm? It like, was really, really fucking bad. It geez. was like. I've obviously not had much experience in like cold weather and snow. Yeah. So this was the first really? time. <laughs> I know, right? This was the first time I'd ever been like, I guess caught in a snowstorm. And I yeah. remember, um, I remember that when like during the snowstorm, we had to take a taxi to the airport cause um, all of the trains had stopped running. So it wasn't just planes. Mm. We were we were looking at, oh, can we take, you know, the Shinkansen or the train back from Hokkaido to Tokyo? Mm. Nope, Every, everything was gone. Which says a lot with Hokkaido, right? Because yeah. like Hokkaido is one of those places where it snows so often. That yeah. Even like, just like a little bit of snow or like a substantial amount of snow is still like, yeah, we'll just power through it. Yeah. Unlike Tokyo where it's like 10 centimeters of snow, <laughs> stop the trains, stop bro, everything. Bro, the UK can't imagine, yeah. man. The UK <laughs> can't imagine. Right. I remember we, we like constantly go through grit shortages in the UK because we're just so ill prepared for just the tiniest <laughs> bit of snow. They, they always do this, the exact same speech every time there's yeah. snow. They were like, why aren't the buses running? The buses were running during World War II and now they've stopped because of a bit of snow. What is this? They do this every single time. Right. They, yeah. they say, how dare the buses stop? The absolute yeah. state. It's like, what? what, because another country attacks or because nature attacks? Which yeah. one do you think is scarier? Nature, for nature, sure. Nature, definitely. Yeah, so I remember like, I remember <clears throat> during the snowstorm, um, I had to go outside for just a few seconds um, to, go to, to go from my hotel front door to the taxi in mm. the road in front of me. Mm. A simple one to two minute walk, yeah. you know, and we've, we've all done it. And I remember thinking it's just a bit of snow, it's just a bit of wind. <laughs> I've handled that before. Right. I go out and then I've never felt like nature is just like beating the shit out of me. <laughs> Just as soon as I stepped out the door, right? <clears throat> because like this snow, I'm like I've felt snow before. It's like it's you know it's, <laughs> I felt snow before. It's right? soft. It's fluffy. It's soft. It's fluffy. Yeah. No, this snow was like fucking ice, man. Yeah. Like the wind had turned this soft, fluffy snow into like a <laughs> into like a fucking WMD or something like that. No, <laughs> like my my face literally like I, I felt like my face was like getting cut from like the brief moment that I didn't have my hood up. You look like the weekend album. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and so and so you were caught in like a Pokemon attack. Yeah, yeah, basically, it like this was literally just Blizzard. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> this was, I could feel like the hail just yeah. like fucking beating the shit out of my face. That one twenty PowerPoint. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Oh, like uh, and it was even worse for Sydney as well because mm. for some reason uh, Sydney decided that she shouldn't bring any footwear to Hokkaido other than heels. <laughs> so I mean, it was like it was like boots, right? But it was like boots with like heels on them, yeah. right? Um, that uh, I what? like. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know, I know, what? I know, you know. Well, um, what was she expecting up in Hokkaido? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know. I think it's just been so long since yeah. she's seen snow right. that she has forgotten what 
you know, other, well, wait, <laughs> other environments she's were She's from like. Wisconsin, right? Doesn't it snow like a motherfucker up in Wisconsin? Yeah, it does, it does. Cause I was, I was just like, I'm, I remember asking her, oh, yeah. I remember telling her, oh, I've never seen like snow like this in my life. And yeah. she was like, oh, it's, uh, it's been a long time. And I was like, so if it's been a long time for you and yet you were still so ill prepared. <laughs> You're less prepared. <laughs> you were so ill prepared for this weather. <laughs> Um, wow. But yeah, I mean, we just weren't, obviously we weren't expecting it to uh, be that harsh. Yeah, yeah the weather conditions to be that to harsh. So hard. Um, and yeah, we had to stay in Hokkaido. Basically we were living out of an airport hotel for two days. Mm. Uh, Cause we woke up the next day. Uh, we, I, I remember cause I messaged these guys. Uh, guys, we're gonna have to possibly delay the recording by like an hour or two, mm. maybe. I'm gonna get an early flight. It's mm. all gonna be good. It's only like the weather forecast is only scheduled for the snow to be really bad on this day. Mm. I wake up, I look out my window, uh, the blizzard's still fucking going. <laughs> And I'm like, guys, so guys, okay, we, okay, I can make it back. I swear to God, I can make it back. The flights aren't canceled yet. The flights aren't canceled yeah, yet. Yeah. And I remember like trying to like reorganize with these guys to be like, okay, I'm gonna make it back on this hour. I can make it back at this, to the studio at this hour. We can record, we can still stream. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. It's fixed guys. We can still do trash days. Yeah. Um, and an hour passes and then every flight is canceled again. Oh. And, I, and in in the, the, the defeated manner, I text these boys going, going like, sorry boys, I let you down. I let you down, boys. I let you down. Well, it wasn't so much you that let us down. It was the fucking weather, right? Yeah, like I'm it wasn't your I'm fault. I'm blame God on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and just uh, fight through it, dude. Yeah. Just walk back. Just walk yeah, back. Walk it's back. walkable. Yeah, because like, because like, we've been through Hokkaido like a few times before, yeah. and like, I swear to God, it just like, like, I swear to God, every time you go to Hokkaido, you're playing gacha with the planes, there, <laughs> right? Because yeah. a lot of planes get canceled like very frequently, right? Mm. Obviously, not as not in this kind of state where like literally the entire airport was shut down. Yeah. But you're normally playing gacha when you go to Hokkaido because one or two planes will normally get canceled or rescheduled or like heavily, heavily mm. delayed. But then that's when you discovered why Chitose Airport, which is the airport in Hokkaido, is so well equipped, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. It is actually like Chitose Airport is like like one of the best airports I've been to in the world, I think. Really? Just, just, I mean, just with like how many restaurants and mm. how many like resources are there. I mean, there's basically like a shopping mall inside the airport. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. Cause like, uh, cause like the airports that stick out to me are airports like Singapore airport, yeah, right? yeah, which yeah. is just that, that's like an amazing airport. Mm. Like uh, the Hokkaido airport is more like, that's that's more like a shopping mall with an airport attached to yeah, it. You yeah, know? yeah. Where most, because most of the stuff you see is before you go into the departure zone. Mm. Whereas most airports, like it's the departure zone, which really has all of the restaurants, all of the shops mm. and all of the everything. But yeah, in, in Chitose, I mean, there's even like a, uh, there's even like a cinema there as well. Yeah. Which uh, there were- There was? Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. I don't know. This. Yeah, I mean, the, the did only, you watch something? I didn't. The only film they were playing was uh, the Jujutsu Kaisen movie. Do this. <laughs> Just go watch it. Just go watch it. I mean, I, I, I am, I, I am actually going to go watch it this weekend, which right. was this, which is the only reason why I didn't watch it when oh, I was in Hokkaido. I see. I see. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad because of the airport there. Luckily, I was able to get an air, uh, get a hotel at the airport. Mm. Um, it was just more annoying because obviously I wanted to be back, wanted to be working. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was, there's not, <laughs> there's not really much to say about it. I mean, I mean like, I'm sure this is like every other day for a Canadian. Yeah. You know, like I remember like- There's going to be a million fucking people in the comments being like, oh, imagine living with that every day of the week. <laughs> you know. Yeah, cause you I remember- You didn't bring your own sleigh dogs? Yeah. How irresponsible <laughs> of you, Garn. <laughs> yeah, it was just weird. Just like, because I'm just used to, no matter what happens, there's always kind of like a plan B that you can fall back on, yeah. right? a possible plan B. Um, but it was just, the roads were closed, airports were closed, trains were closed. So I was literally like stranded. You basically experienced quarantine. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I was basically stranded at the airport and there was no plan B. There was there was no services I could call to get myself out of there mm. to a place where I could get some public transport to right, Tokyo. Right, because right. Did you go around uh, getting the shopping carts to get some money together so you could buy a burger? <laughs> <laughs> Collecting uh, plastic cans. Oh <laughs> like, yeah, so yeah, I, so yeah, I basically just lived the terminal, except. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Except that was, unfortunately, that was, that was I wasn't Tom fruit. Hanks. That was yeah. hanging fruit. Because <laughs> uh, like, I think one of the craziest like weather phenomena I've been caught up in was uh, when I was in Vegas, mm -hmm. and they have dust storms there. Dust storms. Yeah. So basically, just think of a sandstorm. But instead of the sand coming in from I've the desert- I've never even been in the sandstorm. Right, well, I haven't been in a sandstorm, but I've been in a dust storm and it happens pretty frequently in What's Vegas. What's the difference between sand and dust? 
I, I don't. I, I thought it was a sandstorm at first, right? Mm-hmm. But then everyone, all my friends, mm-hmm. were like, "Oh, it's a dust storm coming." Maybe and it's like a different vernacular. Yeah, maybe, maybe, or it's maybe. like maybe it's not just sand. Maybe it's like sand and other crap like yeah. mixed into it. But basically, oh, true. I was like, I, I was driving around in uh, in Vegas, you know, just with with a bunch of friends, and then like on the radio because he had the radio on, it yeah. just like suddenly switches on, and it's like, "Oh, there's a dust storm incoming." Um, so <laughs> please, you know, please evacuate, kind of thing. And I was shitting my pants. I was like, "What the fuck is a dust storm?" And then, uh, but everyone else there, the locals are just like, oh yeah, it, it, it happens pretty frequently. Let's let's just go to like a restaurant, get something to eat. Oh wow! So uh, so we, we we go into this restaurant, and then the dust storm hits, right. and it's like just yeah, just think of like a typhoon, right? So right. it's like just really insane winds, oh. but you can't see outside. At like all. the whole windows are like like covered. nothing. It's just like huh. all sand. It's just like That's like so it's sick. it's like a blizzard, but instead of white, it's just like grayish brown. It's like a right. survival game. Yeah. yeah. But what's more terrifying, in my opinion, than a blizzard is the fact that uh, in a dust storm, it can cause static electricity. Oh. <laughs> so basically, you have like thunder strikes at ground level <laughs> because of all the particles rubbing together, right? So every now and then it'll just be like blowing, and then you'll just hear this like boom sound from outside. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? It's like, oh, that's just the electricity. It's like, why are you saying it like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's just my just friend Bob, like, you know, like so yeah, yeah. saying it so casually. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's that, really interesting. Yeah, so that entire time I was shitting my pants while we were in this. Uh, <laughs> We're in this ramen shop because, yeah. of course, they were like, "Oh, Joey's Japanese. Well, let's just go to a Japanese you restaurant." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm here all the way in Vegas to go <laughs> eat some Japan subpar Japanese food." <laughs> all right, bet. So we we were so basically, I was stuck inside a ramen shop called Naruto. Are you serious? I'm not even fronting. It's it was it was called Naruto. <laughs> did it have like Naruto like? Uh, I mean, uh, they did their best. Yeah, oh yeah, like the yeah. walls had like Naruto decorations. Did they actually? Yeah, and I thought, like I thought maybe it could have been named after the location. No, yeah. no, no. It was uh, and and the ramen. It was very obvious they tried to replicate the Naruto ramen as best as they could. Right. Um, to, what? you know, to to not that great levels, admittedly. I, th- I think it was the most three out of 10 ramen I've ever had. So I was like, great, I'm stuck inside this fucking restaurant called Naruto this po- this eating poor, a- This poor restaurant getting yeah. destroyed. I don't restaurant. think it exists anymore is the oh, thing. Okay, yeah, okay. so I'm allowed- and, and if it does exist, sorry. <laughs> You're ra- just the most perfect moment of like the locals going, this guy's Japanese, he likes anime. <laughs> So I got the perfect place. Yeah, so the episode in Simpsons when they go to America Town in Japan. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Basically. Dude, I mean, the first thing the first thing I ate when I went to America for the first time, which was the first AX I ever went to, my mm-hmm. friends fucking took me to Little Tokyo. And I was Aww. like, bruh. Yeah, every, I, time, yeah. every time you know, I've gone to AX, everyone wants to go to Little Tokyo. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I just came from Big Tokyo. I don't need to go to a, I don't, I don't need to go to a smaller variant of it. <laughs> and then I had, again, some subpar ramen in, in, in Little Tokyo. I was like, yeah. oh, great. The fan, this is the LA experience I wanted. <laughs> the only time I've ever seen a natural phenomenon of weather is uh, I saw sun in the UK one time. Kind of like <laughs> and you were like, oh, what the, I was fuck, like, what the <laughs> fuck? Holy shit. I've seen fire tornadoes in Australia. <laughs> What the fuck is a fire tornado? We have breezes in the UK, a gust of wind. <laughs> we, so you have tornadoes. Yeah. And you have bushfires. Yeah. So what happens when oh, a yeah, tornado this, enters a bushfire? <laughs> you basically get this spiraling like pillar of fire. That Dude, sounds these terrifying. Fucking, it's fucking awesome to look at from a distance. <laughs> these these like US settlers must have been so fucking confused <laughs> when all this shit was happening. They were like, what the fuck is happening? I'm pretty sure that's what the British saw the first time yeah. they were <laughs> yeah. They're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> the first time they found like the swamp in Florida, they're like, what yeah. the it's fuck like, Whoa, it's a bit humid in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like Australia is just like a real life island in one piece. It is an island on the grand line at this point, you know, because like like the survival instincts you need in this island, like that, that's taken out most of the fucking pirates in one piece at this point. That, imagine being the guy who has to like write the guide that they send back to like people who are gonna come again. It's like, it's like so, so by the way, you're not gonna believe this, yeah. right? You know how it's sun sometimes, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just like that all the time. Yeah, all the time. Ends. And sometimes, I don't know how this happened. There was just fire tornado. I don't yeah. even know what a tornado is. Yeah. We never even seen one of them. Yeah. It's a tornado. It says, but the, it's such a weird thing as well because it's not like, uh, I, I, I kind of described it like there's a bushfire and then a tornado comes along and like eats up the fire. It's yeah, more so yeah. like the fire is so strong that it basically creates an up current that starts to spin. And then it just creates like this pillar of fire that just like 
crashes through. Just, just sounds it's really like, cool to see. It just sounds like a fucking anime attack at this point. It, where, it where, was, like, yeah. where like, like I was know. like, I was like, is there a Pokemon battle happening over there? <laughs> and like someone did fire spin. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. like, it's like two jutsus being combined together <laughs> in Naruto. You know, it's like- <laughs> It's just stomach after having that Naruto ramen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like katong. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I did, I did see actually that recently like the UK or at least London went through like a pretty yeah, bad, bad storm. storm yeah. 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 Um, which I like. I don't know how bad it was because, like, when I when I see when I see like it UK really up, bad, it, it looked really bad. Because like when I see, but like you know when you see UK headlines, yeah, and you see like oh UK going through like a bad storm, yeah. like the strongest wind seen, and I'm just like, well, is it like obviously it's going to be bad for the UK, but like how bad is it on a global scale? There, there was videos of it picking up people and throwing them. Oh seriously? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Because yeah. yeah, when I saw that headline, I thought it was just like the British over exaggerating. No, you, dude. As you guys like, usually, there's like, oh my, yeah. my, my friend's toupee fell off. It's, I, it's an absolute yeah, travesty. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's so strong. <laughs> I, I, I saw some videos of people getting thrown around. I was like, oh, oh my fuck. god. <laughs> like, like rip if you're trying to open that car door, man. Yeah. You're trying to get that closed. Oh it's my never god. Happened. Yeah, because like this. Okay, so like this just shows how unused we are to this these kind of like weather systems and weather phenomena, right? Because like we're um, um, we're like me and Connor are in like a group chat of like the, our friends back in the UK. Um, and sometimes, you know, they're still meeting up and they're still planning meetups and everything like that. And I saw in this group chat that, that they had planned a meetup or to hang out on this day. And I remember like, Right up to like the last moment, people were just like, "Oh yeah, I'll see you guys in an hour. I'll see you guys in an hour, right? Yeah. We're, we're still meeting in an hour." And people were like, "Yeah, yeah, I'll, be, I'll see you in an hour." And then you just see, you just see this the replies going, "Yeah, let's maybe not meet up today. Maybe that's <laughs> not the best idea." But like the thing is, if this was like one of the worst storms that UK has gone has gone through, mm. like I'm, just, I am also really used to the idea that no matter what. You can still go out and have a pint. Yeah, right? you can, you say, can still go like, out and have a pint, course, no matter what. News yeah, the pub has been canceled. So like, that's yeah. how I knew that this storm was like the real deal. Yeah. If my mates were not going to the pub to meet up because of this storm, you know, shit's gone down. If the pub isn't closed, then that means I can still go. <laughs> yeah, right. No matter what. Basically, basically. It, it, it is basically that. <laughs> Oh God. Yeah, that is uh, another episode of uh, UK people n severely unprepared for, you know, weather systems. Yeah, yeah cause like, I remember, you know, when I first met my first like, you know, British person, like from the UK. Yeah, and exist. Yeah, they exist. I was like, oh my God, you guys exist. But second of all, you know, they're always like, oh yeah, we have nothing going on in the UK. Like no bad weather, no like dangerous animals, no nothing. And I'm like, really? Like, re like I, I found that hard to believe as someone yeah. who came from the polar opposite of that. Yeah, you yeah. came from doom, just call it. Yeah, I, yeah. I came from doom. I came from hell basically, <laughs> <laughs> the underworld. <laughs> yeah, because it's like, do you guys really not, like no. what is the most like dangerous thing? Floods. That you Okay, yeah, I was yeah. about to say. We got a lot of rivers, so obviously when it rains a lot, it can flood. But okay. yeah. depends on what, depending on where you are in the UK, there aren't floods. Like yeah, like what if you're, you're like nowhere near like the the rivers? Right? Yeah, then you don't get anything. Man. Occasionally, you, you guys get a lucky. Yeah, well, yeah. We, we've had hurricane scares before, at least yeah. in my lifetime, but nothing that actually like manifested as anything. Felt like big. a hurricane, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was just a bit of strong wind. Yeah, yeah. A bit of gust. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that was pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, we don't have a lot to fear in the UK, which is why whenever I travel abroad, um, whenever I, well, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Uh, whenever I travel abroad, uh, abroad. abroad. <laughs> All aboard. <laughs> Whenever I travel abroad, I got it. I got it this time. There you go. <laughs> Sometimes it just like surprises me um, about some of the things you have to be careful of just because in the UK, we don't have to be careful of anything. Mm. Like, you know, with camping, you have to be careful about bears or, you mm. know, starting a forest fire, which to me, like starting a forest fire was like so outside my perception of what, of like disasters that could happen yeah, from just yeah. like one person. But yeah. like, if you think about it, yeah, of course it makes sense. You know, you see, you look at Australia being on fire, California, like half the year being on fire. I mean, yeah, like our, our, our country was on fire for nine months straight because of one guy starting a fire. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. To me, like that just like, that's just so outside of my perception of what could fucking possibly go wrong yeah. of one, like one stupid person doing like a stupid thing, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I mean, all the trees are like wet in the UK. So it's very hard to, yeah, even I remember when we were camping, it was even hard to get like trees that weren't too damp really? <laughs> to, to burn. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, you could th you could come in with like a fucking flamethrower and it'll probably be put out by the day. <laughs> the flamethrower will run out of gas. Yeah. You get <laughs> it's very wow. rare. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anywhere like 
in nature on fire in the UK. Really? I don't think so. No, fire's oh. just not like- It's uh, hard to get it started. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's very hard to get- Nature any. fires aren't like a thing that we have to be careful about in the and UK. And yet one of the biggest UK hits was Firestarter. So, you know, yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a bit ironic, isn't it? Because they, they, they had so much time while they were making the Firestarter. Yeah, yeah. They, um, they, yeah. They, the prodigy they, was like, I'll make a song yeah, about yeah, it. I'll make a song. <laughs> I'll make a song. You, you do the fire, I'll make, yeah. I'll make the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's an achievement, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, if it's easy to be a fire starter anywhere else in the world. <laughs> in the UK, it's it's a medal. <laughs> I'm a fire starter. It's like, damn. <laughs> Has he managed that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Aren't some f forest fires like natural? Like there's that needs to happen sometimes to clear a lot of the like dead trees and yeah, stuff. And then, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so obviously, a lot of them recently are like not. Yeah, so we have we have uh, controlled bushfires uh, in oh, Australia okay. that happens like pretty frequently um, because we also have uh, I don't know the the details about it, but we have this specific uh, like is it breed? I don't know. I don't know what the word for it is of tree or right. like sapling uh, where uh, it's a type of eucalyptus, I think, where the 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 seeds from the tree right. need to be put into a fire oh, in order yeah, for I've it to open this. up. Oh. So to keep the forest alive, they actually have to burn these seeds and basically start a bushfire for that right. area of the bushland to grow again. I've which is like, which is the this. most like backwards thinking that nature has ever done. It's well, like- Well, cause I imagine if like the dead trees pile up and then it's as hot as it is in Australia. Yeah. It'll naturally catch on fire. Oh yeah, fire, we get natural right? bushfires yeah, all the yeah. fucking time just because of how hot and powerful the sun is. Bro, like a, Australia literally is like the last dungeon area. <laughs> like even nature is high level yeah, in Australia. Do do like what like, the they, they yeah. randomly just start fire. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's literally the desert level in Breath of the Time, uh, bro, the Breath of the Wild, where like time. Breath of Time. <laughs> it's literally the desert level in Breath of the Wild, where yeah. like if you don't have the right equipment, you are forever like just. Gaining damage from the yeah. sun. I think in as well, I think as well, I can't remember, it might've been one of those <coughs> generic Vox videos where you learn mm. about shit you didn't know you wanted to learn about and then you learn about it and you're like, oh, okay. I want you mean every YouTube video? No, yeah. mainly Vox videos. YouTube shorts. Yeah. Always like that. So, so I think it was like, because the US for so long was actively stopping all the fires, mm. it turned out that a lot of the branches needed to just be set ablaze so that they could yeah. get rid of them and that yeah. it could go back in the system, you know, yeah. it turns into ash. So they had like a buildup of a lot of dead uh, dead trees and mm. stuff like that. So when the fire did start, it went like crazy. And it yeah. should yeah. be nearly as big as it was. I mean, like, yeah, I we- I think, I could be wrong on that. Yeah, I mean, we have like so many like controlled bushfires just because we do have like just, yeah. at least in my area, we have a lot of like wildlife and yeah. like nature reserves and stuff like that. But you know, sometimes, unfortunately they're not, you know, some of those fires aren't controlled 100% of the way. And that's what causes bushfire scares and straight up bushfires sometimes. So I think that's why we have a lot of that. Just because we're trying to maintain the nature and then sometimes nature's like, you know what? I'm gonna go ham a little bit. <laughs> and then they go ham. The only controlled fire in the UK is from trying to boil your water. To make a cup of tea. <laughs> like, oh God. <laughs> as, Help. Uh, as an Australian, what is like your biggest fear over there in terms of like nature or nature wise? <sighs> um, like what do you have to be careful about the inflation. most? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> honestly, the people scare me the most. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a video game movie thing. Yeah. It's not the animals you gotta yeah. worry about, kid. It's the people. It's the people. <laughs> Humans are the scariest of them all. <laughs> um, Humans were the monsters yeah. all along. You can predict a black widow. Can't predict a human. <laughs> <laughs> Guns don't kill people. <laughs> people kill people. <laughs> um, in terms of wildlife, like I'm usually pretty okay with like insects and like snakes and spiders yeah. if I know it's not going to kill me. Have you ever had like a big scare yourself of like you've encountered something that you're like, oh, this could, this shit could actually kill me? Oh yeah, me. yeah, many times. Like I've I've. She's like the health, the health bar comes on the whole bottom of the screen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah many times. Like uh, I remember I, w I was actually this close to basically dying at one point uh, because I was oh, this close title. to being yeah. bitten, <laughs> by, uh, bitten by one of the most venomous ants in the world. Venomous ants. Yeah. So we not what? only so Australia so people outside of Australia think that yeah, Australia is just like yeah venomous uh, spiders and snakes. That's just but we unfair. have like yeah we have a lot of uh, venomous insects and we have this one ant uh, species called the bulldog ant, and uh, it is 
supposedly the most venomous ant in the world. And I almost got bitten by one when I was do like you, 10 years old. Bro, do, I, do I think dark, like Dark Souls is like way more balanced than <laughs> Australia. At least it has it is, like a yeah. hitbox yeah. you can see. So basically, you know? yeah, so basically like I was, I was camping, uh, you know, that's where most of the accidents happen. So I was, you're at the campfire, right? That makes sense. Yeah, mm. no, I was, I was camping and I was like sitting <laughs> on this, yeah. I, was, <laughs> yeah, I, was, I lit the bonfire and I thought I was in the safe zone and I wasn't, you know, the one enemy. <laughs> Before I could teleport. Um, yeah, so I was like kind of sitting around the fire with, uh, you know, my family and my mates. And uh, I was like maybe 10, 11 years old. Mm -hmm. And we were in like a really, really like deep rainforest area, right? Yeah. So it was like, you know, basically we just found like a, a flat, it wasn't even like a, a registered campsite. Basically it was just like, oh, we found a flat mm -hmm. piece of ground. Yeah. Let's just, you know, start a fire here. You know, as long as it's controlled, <laughs> it's whatever. <laughs> I, I like it the I way like, he yeah, just said. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. no, you didn't say, that. let's let's make this our campsite. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's start a fire here. I mean, a responsible, and then, uh, a responsible fire, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, a small fire. Uh, let's, start a, let, let's start a fire here. Let's, let, let's, you know, <laughs> let's, let's hunker down yeah, here for the night, good. right? Yeah. Let's, uh, so we set up the camp there and, you know, my dad started the fire and, you know, we, we were getting all cozied up. Yeah. And uh, I was sitting on this like giant slab of rock. Right. Okay. right. It was like very smooth. And, you know, as like a 10 year old, you just want to like climb shit, right? It's like, yeah, so it's like, I've, you know, I found lots of little rocks to like, and big rocks to kind of climb around in. And I was sitting and I was kind of sitting with my mate as well. And my hand was like rested back like this, right? Okay. You know, kind of like legs out right. kind of mm -hmm. thing. And I was just chilling and everything. And then I felt something crawl onto my hand. Right? right. And I looked down and it was an ant, but I was like, oh, that's a, that's a big ant. But how big are we talking? Um, I'm just like, like that. That's quite Whoa, big, yeah. Right? That's pretty I mean, that's still an ant. Yeah, you know? still, an really ant, right? still an ant, right? Still an ant. It's just this pitch, this pitch black ant, uh, just kind of like crawling onto my finger. Um, and then, uh, yeah. And then I kind of like put my hand up and was looking at it. And then my friend who was next to me just gasped and then fucking immediately swatted my hand away and <laughs> swatted this ant off me. Right. And I was like, what the fuck? I was looking at this cool ant. Oh, wow. why, why would you do that? And he was like, dude, you could have died. Like <laughs> you, you do know what that thing is, right? And then he told me and he showed me uh, what it was. And I was like, right. well, thank you for slapping my hand. Um, glad I didn't die young. Does it, does it definitely kill you or is it like- pain? I mean, it's like, it's like it can kill an, it, they say the venom is powerful enough to like kill an adult in like 15 minutes. So. As a ten-year-old, oh, wow. uh, probably would have been like instant was, kill. Was the uh, Coyote Peterson video of him? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, sting yeah, test. Yeah. Sting yeah. test. I only know but the will it kill me? <laughs> <laughs> That's the next level of bomb. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, like it's, it's like in the OG, OG YouTube days. It's like, will it blend? <laughs> <laughs> like twenty thirty YouTube. Will, will I die? Will I die? <laughs> will I die? Let's find out. I'm Cody Peterson. I'm about to enter the death zone <laughs> <laughs> with the bulldog ant. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. So basically, my my friend saved my life, and uh, now I'm uh, now I know that yeah. we have these ants because you know. When, Dobby when, owns when, you. Yeah. When you're because you know when you're a kid in Australia, you know you're always you know told like you know be careful of the snakes, be careful of the spiders because you know we do have a lot of non venomous kinds, yeah. but. You know, it, that's not the ones you have to look out for, obviously. Yeah. Like, you know, I've been bitten by a snake once, but it wasn't venomous. It just really fucking hurt, right? So that, I mean, that's fine. It was just like a little nip on the finger. So it's whatever. Um, you know, what it doesn't kill it, you, what doesn't kill it? you makes you stronger, right? They must've sent the craziest motherfuckers from the UK. And they, <laughs> I, if, if I was if I was like there, one of the first people in Australia yeah. and one of my friends just gets bitten by an ant and we're like laughing jovial and then he just yeah. dies. I'm like, <laughs> we're leaving. Like, fuck, <laughs> fuck this plane, get back on the boat. We're leaving. Fuck like, Oh, little cute little ant, <laughs> boom. It's just like fucking, yeah. I'm like, get back, pack the shit back up, pack it up. <laughs> That's when. That's, well, when, that's, when, that's, that's, that's when why they send the prisoners. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's that's it's, when you, it's literally like the, the dark continent in Hunter Hunter, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. That's when you play the ground is lava. You know, like it's like everybody off the ground. Yeah, the but dark I mean, history is I, I don't, the UK. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't think so I'd have so like good. the courage to do anything in Australia because like they're no, fuck the, that. the more I read, the more I'm just like I just I guess I just won't go outside. No, because, like, it's great. The beaches sound great until I read about like fucking stonefish, right? And then I'm just oh, I mean. A stonefish. Just you know, just don't fucking step on them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a stonefish is a fish that looks exactly like a stone. It's very right? ugly fish. That's it's a very it's ugly like a bottom fish. dweller fish. Yeah, but its fins have razor sharp needles that, if you step on it, it's apparently know. one of the most painful like 
experiences you yeah, can have fr- in your from life. an animal. Yeah, yeah, from an animal. Have any of your friends stepped on one? Uh, I've had a friend step what on one. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he, oh, I mean, he obviously went to the fucking hospital for it. He didn't die, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a plus. But I mean, like, he didn't die. Is it venomous or is it painful? It's just extremely painful. It's I mean, if you, it, it could cause like anaphylactic shock and like kill you if you're unlucky. You know, like. like, like it's the most venomous fish known. Yeah, it's the most venomous okay. fish known on earth. Um, and so even if I don't, even if you don't die, you're going to have a very, very bad time. Yeah, you're just gonna uh, experience a lot I of pain. Mean, if you're experiencing enough what pain- What causes the pain? Is it, is it sharp or is it like got some poison? It's probably got some toxins in it or something, right? It's got venom. Yeah. It can kill you, by the way. It can kill you if you're- Okay, unlucky. just like pull up the Glock, shoot your own foot. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking- Stop it, stop it from going <laughs> through shoot the water. The fish. Cut it off, cut, yeah, it, cut it off. off. That's John Wick it, right? I mean, like, yeah. you know, I think, but like things like stonefish and like, you know, all Are they the super common or is it super rare? No, it's very, very rare. This video is sponsored by Harry's. As you guys know, I am a Sigma male. And the only <laughs> thing I will allow to touch my Sigma male beard is Harry's. I actually only use Harry's. I, I'm not kidding. I've said this like every single Harry's ad read. I bought a bunch in the UK when I came here and I still use Harry to this day. Well, then you'll be happy to know, Connor, and Ooh. everyone watching this video that Ooh. new customers can redeem a Harry's trial set. Forget this. Ooh. Three dollars. Oh, Three dollars? Three dollars when oh, you go to Lord. harrys.com slash trash taste. Harry's believes you shouldn't have to choose between a close, comfortable shave and a fair price. Mm. So they mm. give you both. In fact, Harry's blades mm. are designed to stay sharper for longer. Mm. In a recent study, guys who shave four times a week said <gasps> their eighth shave was as smooth as their first. Okay. Well, dear viewers and listeners, Today is your lucky day. New Harry's customers yes. can redeem a starter set. Uh-huh. You get five blade razor, uh-huh. a weighted handle, yeah. foaming shaving gel with alloy. With alloy? And a travel cover to protect your blades when you're on the go. <gasps> That's $13 value, boys, for $3. Oh! There's truly never been a better time to try Harry's. Go to harrys.com slash trash taste to try Harry's today. Back to the video. One thing you mostly have to worry about if you go to the beach in Australia is the jellyfish. I was gonna say the second thing that yeah. fucking terrifies well, we, me. We have a ton of those in the Jellyfish. UK. Not toxic jellyfish though. Oh, but the ones that are like extremely painful. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. because like we, you're probably thinking of box jellyfish, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. Like I've never seen that in the waters. I've never heard of anyone getting stung by that, but like that's the one that can kill you. Yeah. And, where, and like where, people have. Yeah, where it, it puts you in so much pain that you drown because you have zero control over your body. Yeah, it basically paralyzes you immediately. Yeah. Have people then, like survived? Uh, people have survived, yeah, but a lot, but I mean, like, it's it's a very uncommon way. Oh, uh, sorry, it's a very rare way for anyone to like. Die. I think only like maybe like two or three people die a year from it or something. So it's like it's very very rare, considering the amount of people who go into the ocean in Australia. Yeah. Like, it's you got to be really unlucky. Jellyfish, like, jellyfish just scare me. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, like, I've been stung by uh, the other kind of jellyfish that's way more common. Is they're, they're called blue bottle jellyfish, yeah. and they're not they're not toxic or anything. Like, they won't kill you. But it hurts a lot when you get stung no. by them. Yeah. My friend got stung by one when we were swimming in the in like some shitty ocean yeah. in the UK. And and the and the trick in Australia is if you have a mate who's been stung by a, a blue you, bottle, you you pee you on pee it. On them, I, right? I, I think this is one of those rumors though, isn't it? This is brought by JoJo yeah. fans. All right. I don't think it actually. <laughs> I think helps. I think the actual way to do it is like you got to like pour vinegar or something on it. But maybe, maybe, or some maybe kind of having your mate piss on you feels relieving. So, yeah, yeah, it's some, some, it's some kind of like alkaline that does, you actually have does, to put it on. It does, yeah. like when you say it out loud, it does yeah. feel like a scene from JoJo. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. It? <laughs> <laughs> You've been stung by a stand. <laughs> the only thing. Joy, get the go to the experience. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, oh, okay. that makes sense. Pee is just scold hot water it. from the body. Yeah. Scold my leg, pour boiling water. That's 36 water. degrees right there, dog. Like that's, that's warm as fuck. <laughs> this is why this isn't a problem in the UK. Everyone's always got a hot thermos ready for the tea. So they, they're ready to just like- <laughs> Get the tea thermos. <laughs> Piss could make it worse actually. Oh really? Depending on how I see it. Well, uh, sorry for peeing on your leg that one time. <laughs> well, I remember we were swimming and uh, a, bunch of, a bunch of the jellyfish is washed up. Yeah, I don't know oh, if that's yeah. normal. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've seen that in the UK as well. And yeah, that happens. Them, a yeah. bunch of them washed up and this yeah. little 10 year old didn't know what they were. I was, oh. I think I was 12 oh, and like he was dived 10. into it. Yeah, just like picked one up. And then oh, like, oh. Yeah, ex- ah! <laughs> well, you can you can pick them up by the head. Yeah, no, like he picked little, it up by the tentacles. Oh, the tentacles. Yeah, that's probably not Immediately good. started crying and screaming. And, uh, oh shit, yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> There was lo- I remember there was loads of them. I remember I got really freaked out. Cause mm, I was like, what yeah. the fuck is that? Mm. Yeah. This is not how they were in Finding Nemo. That's what I remember. <laughs> I don't think there was any jellyfish in Finding Nemo. Yeah, what a was. weird fish. Yeah, what there a fucking was. Yeah, there was, 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 yeah, there yeah. was jellyfish in Finding Nemo. What, what, what a weird fish. What, 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 fish what? freak me out so much more 
than like animals do. Like what is fish not animals? <laughs> no, fish mean, are fish, right? Animals are animals. Jelly jellyfish isn't an animal. I know it's an animal, but fuck, like what fuck the, off. Like what, what like, like this, what the fuck is going on with fish? I mean, it like, doesn't have a brain, it jelly, doesn't have a Jellyfish is just God's spunk. Yeah. Like that's <laughs> that's well, that's just what it, they are. Like it fights back. <laughs> I mean I mean like that's the closest way the I could ocean like, sperm it, cell. <laughs> it is like, the ocean sperm cell. Like you know you look at you know that that Mr. Incredible meme where he's like smiling and gradually getting like more sad. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. you look at dogs, you're like, yes. <laughs> And then you get down to like horses, you're like, yes. Yeah. Then you get to something like rats, you're like, okay. Yeah. And then yeah. you start getting to these weird fish. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you're like, what the like fuck? Like the deep sea fish? Yeah. And then you start getting like to the real fucking weird fish, the ones that like all like no eyes and just all teeth. Yeah, and you're like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck is <laughs> happening down there? It's like some like, what's it's going like, on? like berserk creatures. <laughs> it is like legit. Like, the fit, like what's going on with fish shit? Like, that, yeah. that, 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 <laughs> what's that, going on? Like, what? Who, who what, is this, an episode of Seinfeld? Who's in, who's in charge? <laughs> what is up with this? <laughs> who's in charge of the evolution down yeah. there? It's like out of control. Like. Have you guys heard about the immortal jellyfish? No. No, but so, so I'm there, listening. So there is, a, there is a species of jellyfish that scientists believe are like immortal. Like right. they, cannot, they cannot be killed by like time, by old age. So right, right. obviously they can still be Killed by external forces, yeah. meat and whatever. But, Cold experience. <laughs> but it's believed by scientists that they are, in a sense, immortal. Okay. And that scares the shit out of Damn, me. That's just because like, nothing should be immortal. Nothing alive should be immortal. That's just the survivor stand from past seasons. Well, yeah. they just have like no Yeah, aging. that is literally just a stand, right? <laughs> well, can't die. Well, apparently they reckon that aging is uh, like a process, like it's cells and stuff. Yeah. Like, mm. it's, it's on purpose. Yeah, so. I'm, not, I'm not bullshitting, right, Ashley? That, that there is something called the immortal jellyfish. Yeah, apparently it just regresses into like a polyp form and then it go, comes back again. Oh, so yeah. So it's literally just like a, a single cell like organism kind of deal where it's like, it's just forever it, just like yeah. recreating itself basically. Yeah, yeah. So a car accident just turned back into a baby and grew back old again. That's a Benjamin Button shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> that is actually just a fucking superpower. That's pretty, that's fucking cool, dude. Yeah, yeah. But could you imagine though, if like humans were able to somehow like study that shit enough, right? And be like- We're trying, I think. Yeah, yeah and, and yeah. you know, being like, all right, this might actually be like the key to immortality, right? But what's the point of being immortal if you get to 60 and you're like, you're useless at 60 and you're like, what are you gonna do for another hundred years? Well, that's why they can regress in age yeah, as well. Cause yeah, they're right, just right, like- right. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so they probably, they probably yeah. get to like a point where they're like, fuck, I can't like, I can't do sports anymore. Like, well, yeah. time to go back. Like, yeah. like, let's just say we can like keep you alive, right? Till 200, but yeah. like after 50, you start like, you know, you start degrading and then 70, you're kind of useless. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, just not saying, I'm not saying all people are useless by the way, but like, <laughs> like you personally can't do what you want. Right, right, What right. is the point of you being like, Another hundred and thirty years. Another hundred years. Like, what's yeah. the, what are you gonna do? Like, just like that's, catch up with like the rest of Game of Thrones. Yeah, that, that's why. Like, that's why. Like, I remember uh, fucking. You know, like in Futurama episodes. Yeah. You know when they have all those like old celebrities from centuries ago, yeah. just as yeah. heads. In yeah, 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 yeah. I remember yeah. one of my friends was like, "Oh man, wouldn't it be cool if we like humanity got to that no. kind of point in technology?" No. I'm like, "No. <laughs> no. What do you? What do you want? That would be horrible. <laughs> You'd just be sitting on a shelf for the rest of humanity. Like rest of yeah." Time, rest of time, rest of time. Just, doing just, what? just, just doing what? How do you like? How do you? Uh, how do you have fun? Yeah, how do you just have a fun? Head? Yeah, <laughs> you're just a head like, in a fucking yeah. jar. I guess I'll, I don't know, perfect beatboxing or something like. Yeah. That's the, that's all you can do yeah. as, a, as a head. Just trying to do this that, that trick right with the cherry stem where you can tie it up. <laughs> just, what else are you gonna do? Wow. <laughs> Just perfect the Jojo Rero Rero, right? Like, <laughs> Learn languages, I guess, yeah, for the rest of time. Learn every language in the world. Yeah, probably. I or just, fuck. or just. Watch Actually, now I think about it, there is a few things you can do. Or just watch Pokemon in your mind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the ultimate <laughs> life hack. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? I'm just watching the six thousandth rerun of Pokemon. In yeah, my head. I mean, like, I mean, like, I, I, I guess it's like a really philosophical question of if you could be immortal, would mm. you want to be immortal? Right. And I'm just like, I, I wouldn't want to be immortal. Maybe I wouldn't want to die at like say 80 or 90 or whatever. Mm. But like, at, there's a point where I would like my body to keep up with what I want to do, right? Okay, well then, well then different question. How old, if you could choose, how old would you want to be when you die? I t to it me, it depends on how functional I am. Yeah, yeah. Because right. like, <laughs> I, yeah, I've I've met ninety years old, ninety year olds who are like still in like fucking tip top shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I've also met you know like sixty year olds who have trouble doing things that I would want Japan to do as well. Fifties, man. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it depends on how unlucky you get. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, some of my friends, you know, that that 
some of their dads, like 55, already getting like dementia and stuff. It's scary yeah. shit. Yeah. I would hate to get that, especially if like my kids are young. Like mm -hmm. I don't want them to feel like yeah. they got to help me out. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I think I think the coolest answer was uh like my granddad. Mm -hmm. Um a, a, apparently like in his 20s, he was like from from his 20s he was like I'm going to die at age 80. Just like just no cap, I'm going <laughs> to die at age 80. Yeah. And for the longest time I was like why why would you say that from a young age? Yeah. And he's like right. because it gives me a time limit to do all the things I want to do before I die. Right. And so it's like self-motivating. Yeah. Yeah. And the and this is how much of a Chad my granddad was. He died exactly at age eighty, <laughs> and he was literally yeah, he was yeah, he was I'm literally like, like I'm I'm good, man. I'm, I'm good to go. Am I allowed to ask how he died? Oh, uh, he died from lung cancer. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm like, did this man yeah. did, like? Well, how did they go down? I mean, the thing is though, I, think, I mean, it sounds like he did everything he wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, literally yeah. like on his 80th birthday. He was like, I can go now with like no regrets. Like, just yeah. like waiting I've, for the clock to turn. Yeah, it's like it's like ready to pull, yeah. ready to pull the plug, like yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so I mean, hey, okay. But like, it's, I thought I thought that was so fucking cool, right? Because like, there's that like very common philosophy of like, you know, if you became immortal, you yeah. would do nothing. Yeah. Because yeah. you'd have no like rush. You'd, you'd have no drive to. You'd, you'd have achieve. no drive to do the things you want to do, right? Yeah. Because you can do it whenever you want. So yeah. I, yeah, I mean, that's my reasoning for why I wouldn't want to be immortal. Also, like, I don't know, I don't want to see everyone around me die. That should be so fucking Well, sad. I mean, like if you live in a society where everyone can choose how, you know, when they oh, die. So, okay, so if we were living in an immortal society, is yeah, that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah. We, we, we live, if we lived in a society. <laughs> I, I, then I think we'd just like regress to the fucking stone age at that point. Cause like no one would want to do anything. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean like for me, like I, personally, I, I find like the most badass people are the people who like live to like the late, their late ages and they like, they seem fit, they seem able. And then yeah. one day they just decide to like, their body just decides, all right, peace out. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's the way I would want to go. You know, I don't want like the I 10. Think, I think everyone wants to go like that, right? Yeah. But like life is brutal. It is, it <laughs> is. I, I, I like, uh, I think it's like the Tezuko Osamu, the, the, the guy who basically popularized manga. He died while drawing manga in the hospital bed. And I'm like, that's so fucking badass. The fact that like this man literally till the moment he died was doing what he wanted to do. Yeah, Gon's gonna be doing that final 10 pull. <laughs> just like, just I see one like, more round. Just, he gets 10 SSRs and he's like, oh. <laughs> Connor's gonna be on like Jump King 20. Yeah. <laughs> on, the, on the final jump. Yeah. It's like, oh. <laughs> it gets to the top, yeah, credits. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, cause like my, my, I like uh, my grandma right now is, uh, uh, is still alive and like she's in like her late nineties right now. And I remember when I introduced her to Sydney for the first time. Uh, and I remember I was telling Sydney, oh, you know, she's she's in the nineties, you know. I think you've definitely told this story. Have I told this story? Trash taste, I think okay. you have, okay. maybe. I don't, have I? I don't, I don't really? know. Just Unfortunately, really? uh, do a cliff notes. Okay, so yeah, uh, my grandma like squeezed, took Sydney's hand and squeezed it. She squeezed it so hard that Sydney was like writhing in pain for like a good hour because of how hard she squeezed it. Jesus. Um, and yeah, that, that was that was a cliff notes for the story because I think maybe I have told this on Trash yeah, Days. So, so basically your grandma was a giga chat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, have you not heard the story? I think so, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, I think it's yeah. Familiar. I, I can't, I can't see, sometimes you can't tell if you've told, if, if I've told you this at a bar or something yeah. or if I've told it on a podcast. Unfortunately, we told <laughs> a lot. Unfortunately, we do talk a lot. I remember, yeah. I saw a recent comment on one of the Trash Days episodes being like, it's so impressive how the boys still manage to find topics that they've never talked about. I don't even about. know. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I don't even know. I just talk and like, sometimes we get called out for it. Sometimes we don't, I don't know. Yeah. You know? It's whatever. Yeah. We definitely was talking about fucked up fish in the ocean. I know that. <laughs> Have we? No, we haven't. We oh, haven't. we haven't, we haven't. No. We haven't. There's so many fucked up little fishies. What's the there? animal that scares you the most? Man, no joking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Martians. You know, Martians. I think, I think, uh, you know, like those tier lists of like animals that I could take in a fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know why. I just think like a a deer would just fuck me up. Uh, I mean, they could. Yeah, like more. I think I'd have more chance of like being able to outwit a bear or something. Or like being able to run away. I don't, I don't know about that uh, one, Chief. Just, I, just, I, I would rather just, take on the deer than the I, bear. I, I thank you very like, much. What's not, well, the deer is the one with the ma uh, which If one, the Bucky has the taught me anything, don't fuck with bears. Which are the ones with like the massive antlers? Is it deers? Are they all deers? I like, mean, deer, moose? Like, moose? I don't know. No, maybe not moose, but like there's some Caribou? of them. Caribou? I've, I've seen some of them that are fucking insane. Like well, they just I mean, moose, moose are like fucking like 
insane. Like yeah, how yeah, big, yeah. Like people imagine moose and they're like, oh yeah, that's like just a big deer, right? I'm like, no, they're fucking, they're like huge. They're yeah. insanely huge. It's it's scary. I, I, even though I think I there's like a 0.1% chance that I could live it with a bear encounter. Yeah. Mm. I, I at least think that I, like a deer, I'd have like zero if it wanted to kill me. I feel like it would just chase me. What, what, are you, what, what, uh, what logic are you basing this on? What kind of the way it looks deer at are you like the way, the way it looks at me, I don't know why. What are you talking You're about? You're talking about like the deer from Princess Mononoke? They, like, they, yeah. they, they got to look in their eye, the deers, right? They got to look in their eye that says, I'm out for blood and I'm, I'm not going to be happy. What are you happy. talking about? Deers are cute as fuck a lot of the time. Have you, have you never been to Nara? Uh, we can feed the deers. They're like no, no. Those are like wimp deers. Like what, Chad, <laughs> Chad deers. Have you seen those deers when they're wrestling each other for like mating purposes? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Dude, if, let's let's just say if one of these deers thought I was gonna steal its GF, I'm done. Like it's I'm dead. I think you can say that about most animals though. Like if you were like if you tried to steal Man. like a. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if, you want, if you want to go to a frat party, I'm sure you feel the same way as well, right? Like, oh, this guy's gonna fuck me up. I remember there's, there's, there's like stories. Wait, what, 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 what logic are you placing this on? There is absolutely one? zero logic. Just the way it looks. So are you saying that like you can't take on a male deer, but you could take on say like a male elephant? Uh, or a male giraffe? What are, when we say take on a, a, an elephant, are like, we saying like beating it? Well, I mean, you you were saying like tier list of animals I could beat in a yeah, fight, right? Beat in the fight or like survive. Like, yeah, I, I reckon I could get away maybe let's, from a bear and an let's, elephant. Let's say, yeah, let's say you're like you're a caveman and you need to take on one of these animals right, to like yeah. survive. Like, take you'd it on. You'd am, I, am I trying to kill it? Or am I trying to run away? Like, you're trying. Like, you're trying to survive. Survive. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I don't know why. I just feel like a deer could chase me to the ends of the earth. <laughs> I feel like a bear might get like bored. most animals. No, no, no. I, a bear will get bored after a while. You know, it'll, it'll get bored. I feel like a deer- Clearly never encountered a bear uh, in his life. I, I, let's say I climb a 20 oh. foot tree. I know bears can climb trees, yeah. but I reckon the deer somehow would just fucking jump up, fuck me up, Naruto style <laughs> something. I don't know why. I, I'm, I'm just scared of these deers, man. These big deers that are- Tigers, aggressive. lions, Did you have tigers, like a- I'll take a tiger on. I'll fuck a Did tiger. Did you have like a childhood trauma no, around yeah, the deer? I've, or I've like, Is this just the British in you talking? Yeah. No, yeah. I, do we even have deers? Of course we have deers in England. Do we? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Don't look at me. <laughs> Do we have deer? No, like big the big deers with the antlers? Like the big What's the difference? What are the what are the ones with like the horns that are like not they're like all kind of spiky. Are you not, talking about caribous? I don't know what they're called. Regular deer have spiky antlers. I know what there's like yeah. spiky antlers. Like the ones with like weird shaped antlers. Are you antlers. talking about ba like Bambi shit, right? No. No. <laughs> no, the ones with no horns aren't scary. Why would they be scary? They have no horns, gone. Horns are scary. <laughs> but they, but, so they are, but they are also the deers. No, they no, are also no, deers. I'm not scared of rhinos. I'd be fucking terrified of a rhino. Are you kidding me? Just ride it, Donkey Kong Country. You wrote it. Wait, what if about I, like a, if what I get on the back of a rhino, right? What's it going to do? Fall on the ground? I'll just jump off it, innit? What, what about like a ram? A ram? I've, 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 I've been with a ram. I befriended the rams. We were friends. So, so, so you, you don't find rams scary? No, no. They're just, they're just kind of like little bitches, rams. <laughs> they're just kind of like drama queens. You can, you can, you can, you can talk to them. You can talk. But you can't. You can't reason, can't with, reason a with a deer. You can't reason with a deer. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just what regular like white tail deer. It's just a deer, right? Those, like, those, deer. those would fuck you up. It's just a male. Yeah, it's obviously. You get I mean, impaled, bro. You'll be on the tree, like. <laughs> I mean, not not I saying get up the tree, I'm not, not not saying they won't fuck you up, but I would rather other, I'd rather take on that than a why? fucking bear. Yeah. You know why you know? as well? Because when you see that, you think it's cute, right? You think, oh, it's cute, and then it fucking stabs you. Right, a, a bear, you're not getting anywhere near that. You're cautious, right? It's about the perception. No, I'm well. not going anywhere near a thing that has horns like that. Are you kidding me? Well, they me? taste good though, so I'd understand why you might go near it. So if bears tasted good, would you? <laughs> Maybe we'd have to divide it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like, a, you, that, I, you know, okay, this is- Why is your those, sense of danger dictated listen, by listen, how good the animal tastes? Listen, this is one of those things where it's just like, it's gonna make me look stupid, this argument, but it's just pure like gut. Like this is no logic whatsoever. This is just my gut feeling. So wait, is is deer like S tier for you? Like S tier scary? S tier. S tier will fuck you up and you didn't expect it. Bear <laughs> bear is A tier because I know it I know it's gonna fuck me up. But also it might not, it might get bored. It might just leave me alone. But, what, but also what, where can, are you getting you this can, idea that deers are so fucking aggressive? Yeah. 
I've I've seen videos, man. This get live leak, <laughs> live leak. <laughs> well, yeah, I've seen videos of bears being aggressive yeah, as probably, well. Probably because some dumbass is provoking a deer, right? Like, yeah, of yeah. course they're gonna get pissed off. I don't know. You know, I just think that uh, bears are <laughs> you know friendly. Because my experience with most deers, like even ones like that, is that yeah. you go like fucking in a fifty again this in is, a fifty meter radius. I am, not trying, yeah, like, yeah. I am not trying to make any sense. This is all just gut. No, you're not. You're not, no, you're not making sense. sense. I know. I know. It doesn't. I know this doesn't make any. Why we're trying to glean some sense out of it, but. Like tigers are scary, but also, you know, the Tiger King seemed like he had a good hand of it. So maybe- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe, it, is, it is like, it is weird. He slapped them with his, uh, his stick and they let go of him. So maybe if I just give him a little, get off. Get off my leg, just <laughs> Stop that. Stop that. Yeah, that, that was yeah. the problem with like all the prey that you see. They, yeah. they weren't like, they weren't like, oh, I'll use the slap method. <laughs> you, you, didn't, you didn't have a big enough stick. Do you know? <laughs> obviously, obviously, that's why what's everyone the most, has died to most a dangerous tiger? bear. Is it the red one? The red bear? Is black, that the black grizzly bear, bear isn't the it? Black one? Okay. Yeah. Black one, okay. Yeah. Like polar bear. Oh, polar bears. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, polar bears. Yeah. There, yeah. there was like a story from like, um, that I think Brian Blessed. Do you know Brian Blessed? He's a very famous British guy. He. He's this really famous British guy who has like, yes, the most booming voice like this, right? Oh, yeah. And uh, apparently he was in the Arctic filming something and a polar bear came up. And I think that he either punched the polar bear in the face or he screamed at the polar bear and it ran away scared in this Damn. story. I, so I'd like to think that I could, if it is true that you could scare a polar bear from shouting at it, I think I'll be all right. Well, I mean, Bucky, <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah. Bucky has told me that like the best way to beat a bear is to punch it in the nose. Yeah, I yeah. heard that you could punch it in the, but probably not the grizzly bear, I'll probably just. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're fast enough, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm I mean, not uh, fast enough. If, if, I, mean, yeah, I, mean, I mean, at that point, if you're, you're barky, You could just. Yeah. <laughs> at that point, you're kind of playing gacha with your life. You know, you yeah. just. just yeah. It's the same thing with sharks, right? If you sh if you punch a shark in the nose, then it'll just be like. Oh, is that is that true? I don't know. I would, I, I would, I would I, try. I, it. I would try. It. I mean, I'm not going to try it, but you know, <laughs> like nature's the like the world's slowest punch, underwater punch. Did, did nature's you, literally given them a weak point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like punch the shark for massive yeah, damage. Punch it. <laughs> Where are you gonna punch a deer, huh? You can't huh? punch it anyway. It's got a, a big spiky things, right? I feel like I feel like you could like you know dodge at the last moment. Yeah, you can like devil no. back. Yeah, you can yeah. like devil back. Ghost that yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. no like, the, bear, the bear is like too big. The bear, the bear is too slow. You can dodge the bear. What you are you talking about? Bears are fucking fast as shit. When have you seen a bear? Huh? When have you, this is the most dumb conversation we've ever had, man. I, I am the You're so it. Right. Like, if you see a bear, like, like, a, like a grizzly bear, you are not running away from that. No, you sure. can't outrun a bear. Yeah. No. But like maybe, the best tactic is that you can outrun your mates. Maybe I can. Um, yeah. Maybe I can shout at it. Ask it kindly to stop. <laughs> you know. It's like. Ah! <laughs> okay, let's have. Why don't we ask survivors of bears, right? What they did to survive the bear. Uh, right? I like to ask how many bear survivors do you know? <laughs> There's got to be a few out there. <laughs> I'm pretty yeah. sure there are you know more deer, deer survivors. Deer survivors, there are zero. Yeah, because no one talks about it. Because everyone survives because, deer because they, because they know if they talk, the deer's gonna come back. The deer's gonna come back for some. The deer comes back with his family, like. You be talking snitching? Shit, huh? You be talking snitching? Shit, hmm? Talking shit, huh? Deers it's like how out. many horror movies are there with deers as like the main monster? That's like, because, fucking, people, fucking because like, people are too scared to, to talk about deers. <laughs> like the next, like when, when's the next deer coming out in the, in the Godzilla trilogy or whatever, man? Deers also like, like, Godzilla versus yeah, deer. <laughs> King a... Kong versus King Kong and Godzilla versus deer. They need to tag team the ultimate dude, monster. Dude, deer, man, it can it can go run super fast, launch itself in with those hooks. You know, you're done. <laughs> GG. So would you we say can. the deer is the most powerful animal? <laughs> it is the most powerful animal. <laughs> if Spiritually. We to, if we were to animal like battle royale, would you pick deer? No, no. Who would you pick for an animal battle royale? Animal kingdom battle royale. Um, I'm definitely picking polar bear. For sure. <laughs> I feel like you're going for low hanging fruit. I feel like there's probably something stronger. Well, yeah, cause I'm trying to win. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's probably better animals. I, maybe if you ask tier list, the, the tier zoo guy. I'm sure Boris. Walrus? Wow. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, okay. The only reason I say this is because I, I literally saw a video where like a polar bear try, was like fucking starving, hadn't eaten for a while. Yeah. Uh, so he was trying to hunt and he comes across these, like this group of walruses. I don't know what the proper word is. The a herd? Walrusai. Walruses, <laughs> walrusai. 
Okay. And, and like, he literally tried to like, t- try to take a bite out of any walrus, yeah. right? And the hides were like so thick that he that like he couldn't, he couldn't grab on. Damn. And the walrus just like shook him off. And he tried with like several wal- walruses and like he just failed. So maybe, maybe it's walruses that are at the top of the fucking food chain and we just never thought about, what about it. What uh, true, true. Uh, the honey badger? That one's like a scary one, right? Eh? I, that was like a fucking- I, I think the polar bear would destroy the honey badger. I don't know, man. I, was just honey- I mean, <laughs> human versus honey badger. Yeah, the honey badger is probably gonna win. Yeah. But like, you know, cause I, I don't wanna fuck with a honey badger. I, I, like, what is a honey badger? It's a badger that eats honey. No, it's <laughs> not. No, it's not, no. <laughs> yes, it is. That's is it, is, is it honey primarily badger. honey? I thought it was like- it's, the, Yeah, because the, isn't the it's whole- It's like fucking crazy. Isn't the whole thing with a honey badger is that like it's hide is so thick that like a bee sting literally can't penetrate it. I don't know. That's All why I know they're is like that, so that shit's feared. crazy. I, I remember I read something about mantis that. Mantis shrimp, know. you know mantis shrimp? I know There's fucking mantis oh, shrimp. Mantis shrimp. Yeah. yeah. My God, like that. Okay, that that's when nature is fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like, just- see fish, it's always fish. Like what's going on? Like <laughs> mantis, why? Mantis shrimp is like the barky of the sea. Why does this fish have like a cannon for an arm? Like yeah. what's going on with that? It's like, why? no biggie, I'm just gonna, I'm yeah. just gonna throw a fist and create a sonic yeah. boom. Yeah, yeah what happened know, with right? evolution? What's go- like, I'm telling you, man, evolution in the sea is fucked. Like, I don't know what's going when, on. When is the next sta- sta- like stage above that? It's like, oh, I throw a punch and a nuclear fusion happens. <laughs> <laughs> like, basically, I create I mean, a I mean, black hole with my fist. Yeah, I mean, if you like sized up a mantis shrimp, I, th- I think, it could possibly like create a fucking vacuum that sucks, sucks the air in, sucks his opponents in. That's, so that's like- what Bucky should have done. Instead of imagining a human sized uh, praying mantis, he should have imagined a human sized mantis shrimp. <laughs> yeah, if we had a, hum- real if we had a human sized mantis shrimp, bears dead one shot. Oh yeah, like, of course. It's gonna be the one punch man. Yeah, of course. Is, why are we talking about this again? <laughs> <laughs> the one punch man of the sea. <laughs> you know what, you know what one uh, thing that um, I always, oh, there's like, I think, there's this is YouTube videos where like people like kind of uh, go to like nature and they like save the animals that are like being hunted or something. Yeah, mm. yeah. By other animals. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. And then they ask like David Attenborough questions like, "Do you ever feel like you should uh, help the animal that's mm. being hunted and stuff?" And he's like, "No, it's literally nature. Why would I fucking interfere?" Yeah. Like I I don't understand why people always make these videos being like, "Today we're gonna save the fish from being eaten." It's like that's literally <laughs> the point. Of the fish, they it's, get it's, eaten it's by li- the other It's fish. literally what? called a what? food chain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah we're just, we just ha- we're just sympathetic because we're at the top. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if we're if we're in the middle of that, if you're like, <laughs> just see you, dude. I'm trying to save my own life. Now. <laughs> yeah, I don't think cavemen uh, really worried about uh, no, no. What, what nature was doing because uh, we were we were trying our best to survive that's, as well. Yeah, that's like a seagull being like, I'm gonna save these fish today because <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> It's like, no, they don't give a fuck. They're gonna eat. This episode is brought to you by Call of Antia, a beautiful and well-crafted casual gaming experience. Call of Antia is the perfect stress relieving game with fun and laid back match three RPG gameplay. What better way to unwind than to match those threes and to collect yourself over 60 beautiful designed heroes. Call of Antia has a ton of rich gameplay modes, majestic scenes, legendary figures, dragons, castles, and exciting adventure. Oh my Lord, it even has online battle modes and massive events which you can participate in to win free items. And in addition to those, you also get free daily summons of legendary heroes. The free daily summon hero featured now is Morgan, a dashing four-star legendary pirate hero who can inflict scurvy on her enemies by a touch of her sword. So download Call of Antia today by using the link in the description down below or conveniently scan this QR code on screen right now to download it. But gentlemen, hold on because the first 300 users who use our promo code trash taste will get a special reward package including, get this. What, what Joe, tell me. 200 gems. 200 gems? 30 plus energy points. 30 energy Mm. points? And 30,000 gold. All of that to kickstart your profile off in style. Thanks again to Call of Antia for sponsoring this episode. Back to the show. I I, I, I guess I'll bring it up now. I, I just Googled the most dangerous animals in the world. Um, and obviously like you, you, you got you, you got your normal ones, like stonefish is on there, box jellyfish is on there, you know, it's black all Austra- mamba. All Australian. You know, all, all the Australian <laughs> ones. Uh, then you get number to number two, mosquito, of course. That, oh that, yeah, yeah. That does make sense. Got a big, big uh, kitty, eh? I shit you not. Number one, humans. <laughs> we are. <laughs> We've like killed everything. We're awful. <laughs> Trust no one, not even yourself. <laughs> what's the what's the the strongest animal you genuinely wholeheartedly think you could you could beat in a fight? What it, it, uh, define beat in a fight? Like, fist to fist. Because like the animal isn't gonna be like, oh, that's not like, like, yeah, like, like, like bring it bring into submission. 
kind of thing? Like, what are we talking about? I don't know, like- Or like run away? Like the animal no, no, runs like away you, or like-, like it's, Or you like knock like it out it's like clean. a fight, yeah, a fight yeah. to the death. Yeah, fight to, for some reason, you're in a are, ring. Are we allowed tools? No. Just your bare fist. Just your bare fist and whatever's laying around on the ground. <sighs> All right, I got it. Uh, realistically? Realistically? Dog. Human. Why are you fighting a dog, Jerry? <laughs> human. human. Yeah. Or human, yeah. Jerry's like, dog loses fan base instantly. Like, uh, <laughs> not that I would. I no, know. like like a bit, like a big, like if we're not counting humans, like a big dog is probably the max I can go. Cause even then, like, you know, it's fucking scary. Like yeah. A big dog would beat you up actually. <laughs> I mean, a big dog I mean, could I probably, mean, you know. Like, we some really big dog. Yeah, it could really fucking could hurt just, me. Could you, you take know? on a wolf? I mean, no. it'll be hard, no. but I feel like if you're fighting the to the death- It'd be the final of the movie for sure. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. I, I feel like you could take on a wolf. Not like, it's not a guaranteed win. Yeah. But that's like on the edge of what I Would imagine I, if yeah. I was fighting for my life. Is it is like a hundred percent like success rate? No. No. But like, you know. But like, could I possibly get a wolf into a fucking chokehold or something? Go fucking, <laughs> fucking UFC on his ass? Then maybe, maybe <laughs> if I had the right techniques. <laughs> All I'm saying, human wolf versus wolf in the octagon. I'm just like, you know, <laughs> learn some can. BJJ, I, I, you learn I, some BJJ. Maybe like, maybe you might have a more fighting chance, you know? <laughs> I think you're dead, guy. Yeah, I think you're dead. <laughs> Because I mean, how how small do you think a wolf is? It's yeah. pretty big. So, right? you, so you can take on a sheep, maybe? You can beat up a sheep? Beat up a sheep? I mean, not that I would want to. I don't think like... the sheep would even fight. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think the sheep would just be like, just take me. <laughs> <laughs> just take me away right now. What yeah, about I you, mean, Connor? What yeah. about you? What, what, what is the absolute max that you you would think like, okay, I could survive this? Catfish, could take on a catfish. A catfish? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I mean, the, the no, actually, fuck off big actually, ones. I've seen videos where we get knocked out by catfish yeah, when yeah, they yeah. jump out of the boats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. I don't even know. I don't even know. I never really think about it. Well, yeah, <laughs> I don't think about this either. <laughs> um, pff, maybe a very, you know, there's some tiny monkeys, very small monkey, very, very small monkey maybe. Yeah. yeah. They'd probably give me a good fucking fight. <laughs> Oh it'd, yeah, definitely. It'd be, it'd be three rounds at least. Of course, Connor says monkey. It'd be, it'd be monkey versus monkey, wouldn't it? <laughs> of course. Some of the, some of the weaker <laughs> genomes of monkeys. Some of the weaker ones, you know. Species of, of monkeys. Could you take on a chimp? Fuck no. Chimps fuck, chimp, chimp will murder you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, why are birds so fucking sassy? <laughs> like, what, why, why, why are they so I fucking sassy? Like, what do you mean by sassy? They just have attitude. Like, like so many fucking, I've seen like- They can you, fly, I mean, come on. I, mean, I, I would be sassy too if I could I would fly. be an asshole if I could fly. <laughs> it's literally looking down at you. Yeah. It's like from above. But, but it's like, you know, like you, like the birds of prey aren't the sassy ones. It's like mm. the like the domesticated, the small, the smaller the bird. Like I the saw. parrots, right? Yeah, the, the parrots. parrots yeah. The parrots are fucking sassy as fuck. Oh, My yeah. fucking God. Also, they freak me the fuck out Dude. because <laughs> their voices, how, like, how do they do such an accurate, like representation of like pretty much every sound. Yeah, our family used to own a couple of like different species of parrot, um, <laughs> like a cockatiel and like a lorikeets and stuff like that. And like, yeah, yeah sorry. What? Something came on my recommended yesterday that was parrot was key witness in murder trial as woman is convicted of killing husband. <laughs> There's like 11 million views. Well, what is the parrot's just like, she did it. <laughs> <laughs> Talkative parrot helped finger a killer. Oh, you heard right. What? Don't fucking shoot the parrot Marty said. Marty Durham was found shot to death at his home. What? Out what? what? That's crazy. His wife was also found what? injured with a gunshot. <laughs> this to parrot the was like, the oh, oh my God. They were both that's crime okay. victims. I mean, that's then, pretty fucking cool. I mean, like, yeah, cause like my, my parrot used to that. replicate like sounds that we would teach him. But yeah. he would also just like pick up sounds through osmosis, right? Like yeah. I've, I've told the story of osmosis how like- Osmosis No, you haven't, you haven't told the oh, story. Oh, okay, okay. So like we used to own uh, this like uh, cockatiel, which is like, do you know what a cockatiel is? Yes. Yeah. So it's like a-, a sassy, small... mo sassy motherfuckers Yeah, well. yeah, sassy <laughs> motherfuckers, right? But um, yeah, cause they're parrots. So like they replicate a lot of things. So like we yeah. taught it to uh, whistle the Adams Family theme song. Yeah. Right. So like every, like we'd wake up in the morning and it'd just be, you know, whistling the Adams Family theme song. And yeah. everyone was like, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> But then other times the sassiness would fucking pull through on this mofo and he would uh, replicate sounds that confuse the fuck out of us. So he perfected uh, the sound of the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> not, not just like he would replicate the buttons like presses perfectly. So it'd be like beep, beep, beep. But then like, you know, when it's like finished and it goes yeah. like beep, 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 <laughs> it would replicate that 
perfectly <laughs> so many times where like I'd be in the living room and I would hear that and I would walk into the living uh, into the kitchen thinking that like someone was there. No yeah. one's there. I'm like, oh, oh my god, god, it's a fucking ghost. And then I realize it's my it's my fucking sassy bird. <laughs> and also like it would replicate like the phone ringing and yeah. shit like that. They're really smart. They're they really are. really smart. And uh, it would also replicate uh, my mum saying good morning. <laughs> so it'd be I, like, it'd I, just I, be I, like, oh, hiya. I'd love it to go like, yeah, cunt, yeah, cunt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what I should have taught it. If, yeah. I, if I ever get another lorikeet, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach it to go, yeah, <laughs> just to see how well it could replicate that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I, anyway, I remember there's some like YouTube videos where people like mix it badly and they put beeps in it for some reason. Yeah. And when I'm in the other room and I like the video is playing and I hear mm -hmm. a beep, I'm like, what's happening in my kitchen? What's like? <laughs> I hate people who do use beeps, really loud beeps in their YouTube videos. Yeah, you yeah, shouldn't yeah. do it. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna, I thought you were gonna go a different direction with that conversation because I was gonna talk about uh, base boosted Monsters Inc. memes. <laughs> <laughs> how are you going to fucking transition to that? Because, I, I wanna hear how this happened. Yeah. Because you were talking about people putting sounds in like YouTube videos and stuff like that. And now I'm just like, yeah, I get it. I st like on a tangent, I still think the funniest thing uh, the one of the funniest videos is just people who like take the base boosted monster zinc theme. You fucking and, love it. And throw it into like someone sleeping or something. <laughs> <laughs> like to me, that is just peak comedy. I don't know. I just I just wanted to bring it bring back the monster zinc base boosted memes. That's, hey, that's, all, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Literally had nothing to do with the conversation. And I was playing 5D. Your mind is just thinking about base boosted monster zinc. <laughs> yeah. I was playing 5D chess, trying to like relate these two things yeah, You were playing 5D chess. We were playing checkers. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even the same game. <laughs> anyway, enough about animals. What have you guys been up to in the past week? Uh, I, had, I bought a PC and it didn't work. Oh yeah, I, I saw oh, your yeah. uh, Twitter thread on that. Yeah. That was pretty sad. <laughs> so it? what happened with that? So I was building it live, mm -hmm. which was more stressful than last time. Mm. I think last time because we we did it like three times. Rip, Gant, he went first. Joey went first. I went, uh, I, uh, Gant I went, I went first. first, yeah. Yeah, so doing it live was really annoying because I was actually reading chat when I just shouldn't have read chat. Yeah. <laughs> because chat kept saying yes or no. Yeah. <laughs> like I'd, I'd be like, is this the right thing to do? Half says yes, half says no. Yeah. Well, oh, shouldn't you already know? You've built- yeah, you literally You're, have you're already, supposed to be the PC master right Yeah, you've, also, you've already built a PC live on camera. Yeah, I, I probably could have just done it, but I just kept getting confused. And, I, and then when I get confused, I get nervous because I'm live and I'm like, what if I do something wrong? And then everyone sees that I did it wrong because people are laughing. <laughs> so, so I- Wasn't I, that the I, whole like, yeah, point yeah, of yeah. that? Yeah. But, but I wasn't really worried when it was my turn doing it live because I'd already seen two people build it. So it was really easy. Right, right. right. Um, yeah, last time she'd been more things, stressful because it was a speed run as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And but it was okay. It was yeah. okay. Yeah. I still fucked some things up. Right. Right. The M.2, I had trouble with again. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that M.2, man. You, yeah, so block with that. I, I built this whole thing. I spent five hours doing it. Cause I, yeah, I fucked yeah. up and was wasting a lot of time and yeah. doing a bunch of other stuff and I was preoccupied. So I finally built it to five hours and it didn't turn on. Damn. Did you find why? out why or? Yeah, so it's working now, I have it. So uh, the next day I, I, you know, I gave up. It was like 1 a.m. Yeah. and I tried mm -hmm. to boot it and it wasn't working and um. I've so I, I I was like all right fine I'll just uh, I'll give it a go tomorrow I'll have a you know I have a clear head I'll try all the problems I basically took it all apart and rebuilt it all again going very carefully through it all and the same error kept happening and I was like mm. what <laughs> like I even took like the CPU out put it all back in made sure I did all that right right I just like could not figure out what was happening because it wouldn't go to the boot screen it was mm. just black screen mm. but yeah. everything everything was whizzing and and you know glowing and all that and I was mm. like oh, damn. So then uh, I'm talking to Gigabyte and I'm like, hey, what's happening? Why isn't it working? Everything <laughs> is working. Why, what, Help. what, what, the, what is happening? Yeah. And so essentially, because I got a new, uh, uh, new specification, it was yeah. a motherboard that is a DDR5 RAM motherboard. Right. Now, to those of you who don't know anything about PCs, uh, basically every now and then they, they upgrade it and they're like, hey, why don't we just change the connectivity to fuck with everyone? Mm. And uh, I, it does make it faster as well, but they changed right. the specifications. So you have to buy specific things. Yeah. Now this RAM slot that was called DDR5, I was like, oh, okay, I'll go on Amazon and buy DDR5 RAM. Mm. Well, apparently that's not what you're allowed to do with DDR5 because it's new. Oh, motherboards have a set list of specific DDR5 RAM right, that works right. with it. So not all RAM, so previously, I think DDR4, like all RAM basically worked with all DDR4, I think. Yeah, kind of. right. I've never- 
mostly, nearly all of it. It was like yeah, ubiquitous. Yeah. Like you'd have to f try real hard not to do it. So, yeah. so then I, I was like, oh, okay, is that the issue? It must be. So I ordered this new RAM, plugged it in, worked perfectly. Right. So I wasted like two days. I was like a whole extra day trying to fix this thing for no reason. Yeah, that's the thing about building PCs. Sucks. To, to, to me- I'm never I, building another one. Yeah, to me, I, I feel like to me, the Join hardest- the yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> To me, the hardest part is actually selecting the parts, right? Mm -hmm. Because like building a PC, like we said, you know, it's it's frustrating, but you can like, it's you can get through it. It's like Lego. Right. You know, I, it's, I use it's PC Lego. part picker as well. Did you actually? To check for compatibility issues. All right. And it also and it wasn't was like, compatible. Yeah, it was like, yeah, it's all good. So it's all good. Go ahead. Go ahead. So you, got, you got your baited. I got your baited. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 things like that that scare me because I remember the first PC I built. Mm. Um, the biggest thing that went wrong was that I had bought a motherboard that was not compatible with the CPU mm. um, because I had bought a I bought like an uh. Intel CPU. So I was just like, okay, this me being a PC building virgin, I was I got I yeah, bought the yeah. motherboard. I saw it was Intel compatible. Yeah, not knowing at the time that there are different types of CPU use and different types of ah, chips. Ah, that happened to me as well. <laughs> yeah. I had uh, the motherboard as well. The cooler doesn't fit, but I just kind of shoved it in place and it, now it's working. <laughs> that's, uh, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's working, it's working. Was was this the first PC you built in Japan or just the first one ever? Third in Japan. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've built four PCs in my life. How did you find mine? <laughs> Oh, fan five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you still somehow found a way to fuck it up. Uh, again, I went to PC Part Picker and yeah. it said it was okay. So I had faith in PC Part Picker because in the previous four times, I've never had uh, an issue. Mm. Um, but what happened was, is that the cooler they sent me mm -hmm. was one that was a bit older. Mm. So it didn't include the, uh, like the, um, adapter bracket to mm. mount the CPU, but this thing had like sliders. So I kind of slid them in the middle, which they would, they, you could tell the things didn't want to be, and yeah. then I screwed it on. Right. But it works. It all feels good. It all feels secure. Did you call Chris? Have him, have him. I didn't, I didn't. Could have done, done, done in 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah could have helped like, you, man. Everyone was like, call Chris. I'm like, what? So he can tell me how his McDonald's tastes. <laughs> no. Can you talk, can you talk about his Mac? Yeah. It's pretty I saw cool. he did a live stream yesterday and he was just eating McDonald's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I saw, I, that, like, I saw that. And I was like, Chris is like, this is not what I normally eat for breakfast. And I was like, what a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Yeah. You. Speaking of breakfast, um, so like, since, okay. as you guys, as you guys know, like I've I've been on like a little bit of a diet recently, mm. you know, because uh, gained a lot of weight when I went back to England. Um, I wouldn't exactly say recently. You've been on a diet a for a while a now. Yeah. Well, because here, here's what happens, right? I go on a diet for like a month have like a week holiday, either with the boys or with Sydney, pig out a bit, like gain on, gain a bit more weight. So I'm still like, I go back to the diet after I'm back. It's- This sounds like a healthy lifestyle. I don't think it's a diet. I think you should be eating healthy. Yeah, that's <laughs> not a diet. I mean, I mean, I am eating healthy, but I am definitely taking in less calories than I, it would take to maintain weight. So I'm not right. like, I'm not like, this isn't a speed run, but it's like a, it's it's like a slow, lose weight, gain a little bit back. It's a slow run. Yeah, yeah, it's a slow run. It's yeah. a slow run. Um, and yeah, the reason is uh, when I went back to England, literally in fucking September or something, mm. uh, I gained a fuck ton of weight because I ate like shit and I drank every day. Mm. And I think like it was the first time that I could physically feel my body had gained weight so much that I, I remember like I saw like a few comments of like the before and after like, trash taste recording to after I came back trash taste recording. I think you can see that I definitely, I definitely did. I wouldn't say I like overweight or anything close to that, but mm. you could definitely see I did gain a little bit of weight. So right. I've been like working to, <laughs> since, since that one holiday, working to, uh, working to lose that weight. And now that I'm taking in lower calories every day, I'm doing things that I wouldn't normally do, like uh, having breakfast. Oh. And, uh, I, Cause normally I just, normally- What I are just, you, a functioning member of society <laughs> yeah, now? I know, right? I know, right? I never eat breakfast. Getting on his high horse, yeah. I, eat, I eat breakfast. <laughs> yeah, so because I, you know, because I'm taking less calories, I've been getting hungry in the mornings. And mm. so I'm like, oh, okay, maybe, maybe it's time to start being a normal person uh, like everyone else <laughs> in society and start having breakfast like people like, like people like to talk about. Yeah, yeah. So, Have you so, been enjoying it? So yeah, so because- <laughs> That doesn't sound like you're enjoying it. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not so much I'm enjoying it so much as I'm eating because 
my body craves something inside my stomach because uh that's because, usually what hunger is yeah, yeah. That, that is that is <laughs> what hunger I, is I, I don't get hungry at all when i wake up no me neither I, I never used to until i started having like salads and low calorie meals every day and then i started getting hungry in the morning it's weird i only feel hungry in the morning when i'm on a trip yeah but when i'm at home i don't actually no on a trip even on a trip no really uh, except if it's mcdonald's breakfast <laughs> That, that's the only breakfast I always got time I don't know, for. When I'm on my I vacation, always... I'm like, four meals a day sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. Let's just eat, yeah. let's yeah. just eat. Why exactly. Not? Why, yeah. why stop? I wake up at like 7 a.m. in a hotel room. I'm like, why am I so hungry? Yeah. That's not normal. Yeah, so like me and Sydney have been starting to eat like cereal. And I remember like, okay. as I've like added cereal to my diet, if you've been following my Twitter, you'd know what I'm about to say. But I remember like having, <sighs> I remember like eating the cereal one day and I'm just like, oh no, I'm about to have a food take. <laughs> and like, brace yourselves! <laughs> brace yourself! Here it comes. Brace yourself! I think I'm about to have an opinion, guys. <gasps> um, and I realized I think cereal is better without milk. Oh God, he said it. <laughs> Oh, he said it. And I'm I'm 50 50 on he this. He said one. it. Oh. I like it with and without. And I remember, I remember, I, I remember just eating one day, and I just said it casually to Sydney, uh, and she looked at me like I just murdered someone. <laughs> she just dropped the spoon. <laughs> she dropped the spoon in the milk. <laughs> is that really that bad of a take? I mean, apparently it is. Um, uh, like you know, Weetabix in the UK as a kid, I used to just eat those dry. I think because I, I can understand that because when you put that in milk, it just turns into wet cardboard. Yeah, yeah. but like I think it's better without milk. I, th I, th I think uh, that's I think that's what it's, angers it's people. It's my mood, you know. Some days I want because you know it's a fucking challenge having to eat cereal without milk. It is. It's like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's it's like you're eating you're eating Scooby snacks. That's well, like, like your dental is. workout is insane. <laughs> but like I I hate it when you pour the milk in, okay, mm. and then the timer starts because just it, pour less than you just need. Just pour less milk. I just pour less than I need. How much milk are you putting in? I mean, I'm putting in the normal amount of milk, but it's- Well, clearly you're not. You're, you're not. <laughs> yeah, it's getting wet. Well, it's getting soggy. I hate soggy well, cereal. You should put a little bit in and then mix it like- force it through the milk, there's but a I, technique. But I also think that waters it down as well. You're having like cinnamon crunch or something. And then you, I, I want the cinnamon on the crunch. I want the crunch and the cinnamon together. But like you put the <laughs> milk in- Wouldn't putting more milk water it down. Hmm? Wouldn't putting more milk water it down. Yeah. No, that, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't, saying, I don't want any milk in there. Cause I like the taste of cereal as it is. But if you just put a little bit of milk, just to wet it, yeah, just to wet it. it, 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 it of, yeah, it, it like brings out I, the flavor. I, I literally put like the bare minimum milk if I do. And then I just, keep like rinsing it through the milk. Yeah, just that's exactly what I do. So that by the time you finish it, you only have like yeah, a tiny yeah, yeah. pool of milk. Do you think it tastes better with the milk in it though? Well, yeah. I, I just, cause most of the time when it's no milk, I'm like tired by the end of eating it. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not that I, not that I really eat cere a lot of cereal anymore, but yeah. yeah, every time I do feel like a cereal, like uh, bowl, I, I, I just, yeah, it's, it's with I, milk. I, I, you know, I just, is, is cereal that good for you? I just feel like cereal is like, you don't need it that much. Oh, well, it, like, de yeah. it depends on the cereal. Yeah, obviously. it depends on the cereal. Yeah. Like, so, you know, a bowl of Fruit Loops isn't gonna be like, like Bran Flakes fucking, is pretty yeah. good, right? I like Bran Flakes. Yeah, Bran yeah. Flakes are good. But then I bought this Bran Flakes in Japan mm. and it had like fruit in it. And so I was like, oh, okay, that sounds nice. It's mm. got dried fruit. Yeah, I like that. And then I look at the back of the package, I'm like, a normal serving contains 50 grams of sugar. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. What are they putting in this? This. <laughs> I think. I think that's why I stopped eating cereal. Uh, not just because like I started to not get hungry in the mornings as I it's got just older. So bad for you, but yeah, a lot of it is well, like it depends it's not on the great cereal. You. It depends on the cereal that you buy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, um, I'm sure you know if you're eating like a bowl of wheat wheat bix, right? Then like, yeah. yeah, obviously that's got a lot of you know health benefits. But also, I don't want to start my morning with wet cardboard in my mouth. You know, I, I, I just don't want to. Start a morning like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe you just hate wheat to mix, Joe. I do. <laughs> I do. I fucking hate wheat. I feel like maybe there's just no saving, like even like with milk or without milk, it just tastes like yeah. shit to you. I'm yeah. going to be so non-Australian <laughs> when I say this. I fucking hate wheat mix. It's it's like, and, and you know, people are like, yeah, just like, but you can just like add sugar or like yogurt or like you know other things oh. into it. I'm like, well, then yeah. that kind of takes away from I the health that, benefit. Just give me the yogurt. Just I try. Yeah, just yeah. I'll just eat a tub of yogurt. That's fine. See, see, like for me, like cereal has always been. Even even now, as I see it, is always, I've always felt that it feels like a snack, right? Because mm. to me, like to me, people like people have told me that they can't get full having cereal without milk, and I'm just like, well, to me, it's like I'm not even that hungry in breakfast, yeah. you know. To me, it, like cereal is just like a quick snack before, I th I before think, we get to lunch. Yeah, that's your Chad in, meal. In my in my day. lifetime, I think I've eaten more cereal past one a.m. than I actually have in the morning. 
like it is the, it is the most perfect midnight snack to me. I really don't like eating cereal in the evenings. Well, what about like late at night? Like as a midnight no, snack? No, I don't. I've I, had I, it. I always- It's actually really good. Yeah, I, 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 I always I used to it. eat cereal I, like yeah, at yeah. midnight. I wish I liked it. Yeah. Cause then I feel like that opens a lot of possibilities to my yeah. midnight snacking options. Unfortunately, I don't like What do you it. snack at midnight then? What, what's like your, mid, your go-to midnight snack? <sighs> I try and avoid it obviously at all costs, mm. but mm -hmm. crisps. Crisp stuff. Yeah, but oh I mean- <laughs> <laughs> What's of wrong course. with that? What's wrong with that? It's just the most British thing you've ever said. <laughs> I love crisps. I like love I should crisps. have seen this one coming. Yeah. I, I was like, I was like, like searching through the recesses of my mind to think, I know Connor, what would he say? And crisps. I'm like, of course it would be crisps. Fucking love crisps. Yeah, you, mean, you eat that as a meal though. No. Sometimes. For a snack. I've, I've, seen, I've seen your <laughs> tweets. I've, uh, I've seen you eat Doritos as a meal. Don't lie to me. Listen, if uh, there's no other choice, there's no other choice. Yeah, Doritos is, is I don't know, man. There's always a choice. And I don't that feel choice good. is not Doritos. I don't feel good about it, but I've, I do it. I do it. Why? Um, They're good, but like I couldn't, I, I can't, no matter how full I get from eating just Doritos, yeah. I can't. In my yeah, head, I, I, I can't process yeah, no, that no, 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 as no, no. this is my meal. Yeah, I, I do it and it doesn't feel like a meal, but I'm just so full that it's like, this will last till morning. <laughs> so. I mean, I'm sure it will. <laughs> and then uh, I'm in a lot of pain, but it's pretty good. Like, I like, I like I've been crisps. there, don't worry. I've been there. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I get it. I just, I'm not a big cereal guy. I, I don't even like eat. Did you eat it as a kid? Cause I can't remember, cause yeah. I used to eat it a lot as a kid and I don't remember the exact point that I stopped eating cereal. Um, uh, I swapped to toast. When I was a kid. Yeah. Um, after halfway through school, I must have decided that I prefer toast. And so I'd eat four pieces of toast. I think I had morning. a very brief period from cereal to toast, and then it just very quickly went from toast to nothing. But I feel like toast and cereal in like the same category of not very good nutritional value, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Mm. Yeah. Like it's not bad, but it's also not great. Actually, you know, the moment I, I actually know the moment I switched from toast to no breakfast was when I started having coffees in the morning. Yeah, no tea for me too. Yeah. Like just having a piece of toast with like a hot drink, you yeah. can't beat it. Oh, not beat even it. that for me, it was just like, just replace the toast with a cup of coffee. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. what? Like from like, like- I mean, I, I do that now. Yeah, but, I, I yeah, do that yeah. now as well. But like from like, I'd say for me, maybe like 17, 18. I, I was just like, yep, coffee. That's it. That's all I need. I, I would eat toast in Japan, but the bread sucks. And the other place you get good bread from is like bakeries. And they're stupidly yeah. expensive. Yeah, but, yeah. It's like 50 bucks for a, for a slice of bread. What what, yeah. what like irks me about a lot about like the normal Japanese bread that they sell at supermarkets is just how fucking thick it is. It's ridiculous. It's like insane. It's like that. I'm like, it can barely fit in my fucking toaster. Yeah, also, that's, I'm, that's I, true. I'm not gonna lie, right? I know this is gonna make me sound privileged as fuck. Yeah. I don't want to fucking cut the bread. I, wa <laughs> I want to just chuck that shit in the toaster. I I've just woken up, right? I don't want to have to get the bread board out, <laughs> the bread knife out. <laughs> oh, it's too thick. Oh, I've cut it badly. I just want the perfect slice. This is not a privilege thing. This is just- This I is think absolutely a privilege thing. This, what are you this, on? This is this is why they say the best invention since sliced bread. bread. Yeah. It's literally, it's literally a human revolution, right? Don't you just want to just- do you really? Do, do you really? Was wanna... sliced bread really that revolutionary? Bro, that yeah, everyone that yeah, the, well, yeah, like, ha, yeah. I want to know why. Yes, I've never yes. thought about the, actually the history of that saying. It literally where, takes ten seconds, dude. But the, no, it's not. It's not the act of cutting it. It's the cleaning up. I have to clean up a fucking breadboard, a bread knife now, just for like one slice of bread. Like if I just have, if I just have the sliced bread, I chuck that shit in. Have, have, what you... about if you just buy the loaf of bread, for example, the uncut mm. loaf of bread? No. On that day, you slice it up preemptively. You put it back in the bag, and now you've got no, sliced you bread. No, you can't do that. That's, I did that. that. <laughs> no, that's fucked up. I mean, I can't really that's relate. That's how you like speed run it going bad. No. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't think I've ever bought bread that's not been pre-sliced. Now that I think about it in my life. See, at least- Wow, like, privilege. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> privilege yeah, they, is showing. They call me privilege for slicing my bread. At least I've done the legwork. <laughs> I've been there. I've been in the trenches, slicing my own bread. <laughs> I've lived that life. I've lived a life. I'm of beyond that now. <laughs> like aside from like you know fucking baguettes or whatever. Yeah. You know, I've I've never actually sliced my own like wow. loaf of bread. It's yeah. Weird. Call me privilege. Call me privilege. It's upper class citizen <laughs> right is, here. This is like the 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 like the opposite of like you know people from England have never cooked like their own rice or something. You know yeah. me an Asian I've never sliced my own bread <laughs> before. So like there is a bakery near me that I really like. Yeah. But the loaf of bread is uh six bucks I think. 
How half, big? Are we half, half a standard size. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Half a standard size. I'm sure it's great. I'm mm. sure it's great. I just don't want to pay six bucks for half half my life. I've had, yeah, because like- my And I have to cut it? <laughs> oh, fuck right Oh, off. fuck me. Yeah, like- uh, For six bucks, I'm not fucking cutting that. Yeah. Thing. That's ridiculous for- I mean, uh, I thought that as well, but then at my previous place, we lived right next to like this like really high-end bakery and like a full loaf, like like this big was like nine bucks or something, which is like- Fucking audacity. Still still expensive, the but audacity. then, and I thought it was just like a scam being like, oh, ja just, is, this is just Japanese I people. I went there, I, it's good. Yeah, yeah it's, this is just Japanese people not knowing good bread. But then yeah. when I bought it and I had it and you know, I had to slice it myself, God forbid. I had to slice it <laughs> myself and uh, yeah, I made toast with it. I'm like, okay, I can see why this is nine bucks. No, no, it was amazing. It was very good bread, yeah. but it was not. No, no amount I wouldn't pay nine bucks for that outside of Japan is what I'm saying. Why, why would you pay for inside Japan? Because every other fucking brand in Japan sucks. I guess fair. Enough. And it's like, it, look, don't get me wrong. I'm not fucking buying this every day. For me, this like this loaf of bread, I would, this $9 loaf of bread I would buy was like maybe like once every like couple of months. How good was that? Like in terms of bread in general, this nine, this $9 bread compared to like- It, if was, you were it was fucking good. Like it was better than like any like supermarket bread I would buy in like Australia or like anywhere outside of Japan. So it was like- oh, I've had the same bread because yeah. I bought it. It was, it okay. was good. It was really, really good. Like I was like, okay, this actually this tastes like tier, bread. This, this is actually some top tier, here. like this is like some A tier, maybe this, even like, S tier bread. Well, how does it compare to like say the bread in Europe? You know? I think the bread that I had in France and Germany was better. Than well, yeah, obviously, oh, no, obviously, but obviously. I'm, that's, I'm asking how much better was it than this top tier bread, top tier $9 bread that we have brought in the you know, Japanese like marginally, market. it got to that taste where it was just good. Like it was very good. Yeah. Right. But then that the one in Germany or France will cost like one euro 50 or yeah. two euros. Yeah, obviously, right? like, yeah. It's not even I mean, you know, opposite, that, right? opposite, with, opposite with rice, right? If, if you're having rice in Europe, then obviously the one in Japan is going to taste better just because, you know. No, in the UK, it was like, what, a pound for Warburton's? Was it Warburton's, the toast bread? I love that toast yeah. bread. It, it, it is very good bread. Mm. Fuck, not that I would bread. know. And even in the UK, right? When you buy the, <laughs> loaf, when you buy the loaf bread at the supermarket, the one that isn't <laughs> cut, yeah. you can be like, can you, can you, can you cut it for me? And I'll put you it can in buy room. uncut bread at the supermarket? Yeah. We have, bakery, we have bakeries in the, you know we have bakeries in the supermarkets. Do you know what a bakery is? There's a bakery, right? And then when you get your your pastries, whatever, they also sell loaves of bread. Mm. Yeah, I've seen pastries. It. I've never seen a loaf of bread. Yeah, yeah, they have it. And if you want the loaf of bread uncut, mm. you can just buy Who it. Who does that? Who asks for that? I mean, a lot of people do, because a lot of people like, you know, if they're making their own stuff, then it's not, not a big deal that they're cutting mm. it because they want it fresh. Because okay. the moment you cut it, the time is ticking. It's already going bad, right? Yeah, yeah. That's why you don't want to cut the whole bread, then put it back in, because then those slices that might have tasted a bit fresher two, three days are going to yeah. be rock solid. Did you, yeah. did you never put like your bread in the freezer? What? No. Because that's the way to make bread long lasting. That's what we used to do in Australia. I'm sure if you cryogenically froze my body, it'd last longer as well. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck did you just say, Joey? That's an American thing. We don't do that in Europe. No, we do it. We do it. We do it in Australia as well. That's fucked up. We do it in, we do it in Southeast Asia. Yeah, right? It's, it's to preserve. Yeah, exactly, it's to preserve. Yeah, it's 20, to make the- 20,000 degrees. It's, like, it's to make the bread last longer. That's like putting ice in beer. You, gotta, you know, like, like that's the, the, <laughs> you, the shit you just don't do. And like- You gotta the, understand, like the loaf of bread in the UK and in Europe, it's bought on the day intended to all be used on that day. Oh, okay. It, yeah. It's not supposed to be. Obviously you can have it a day older, yeah. that's not a big deal, but but we don't, you don't freeze the bread, that's oh, a because, no. Because don't the, Australia, that. the Australian loaves of bread is like 20 fucking slices, right? So yeah. even a family can't go through it in like a day. How big is this bread? Like this. But just buy a small loaf. Is this like this? A loaf of bread is like this big. Yeah, no, it's like, it's like regular like this big, or like 20 slices in it. So obviously- it's 20 it's, slices? Yeah. Does it taste as good? I want an image of this. I, mean, I want yeah, an image. It's exactly the I need same. an image of Australian yeah. bread. Like, yeah, so what you- I don't believe this. It's like the big foot of bread. This can't be yeah, real. Yeah, so like, you know, just to make the bread last a little bit, little bit longer because you don't want to have fucking loaves of bread every day, yeah. right? Especially if you're living in like a, my household, which was kind of half rice, half bread, right? Um, I, what, I mean, what, I'm showing? not- I'm, Like this. Yeah. I'm not even the bread well, guy. Well, that's like the size of the UK one, but that yeah, would last but like way, two, three Yeah, but they're days. way thinner. Oh, they're ninia. Yeah, but like anyway, so like yeah, to make the bread last longer, uh, we'd put you know we would use the slices we needed to use on the day we buy it, and then we immediately go into the freezer because it lasts like an extra two three weeks, and then you just and if you want to slice and if you want a slice of bread, you grab it, you know obviously it's frozen because it's been in the freezer, you throw it into the toaster, instantly defrosted. 
Tastes I, just I, as good. I'm not even the bread guy, and I would never put myself down to such savagery yeah, as, as, up, as, as putting as up. putting uh, bread in the freezer. Oh, I'm sorry, you higher privileged people could buy bread whenever you wanted. My family was saving money, all right? We were, <laughs> your family had a financial advisor, Joe. What are you talking about? Yeah, and, our, and our financial advisor was like, freeze your bread. We gotta change some things around here. Do you want, do you want, that, do you want that new apartment? You better freeze your goddamn bread, boy. <laughs> It's the Asian mentality. Yeah, yeah. Put everything the put everything in the freezer. Last longer. Save money. Yeah, exactly. No, I think this is bullshit. This is just your excuses for living like savages. Yeah, we're Australian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if it was we, something like, oh, we don't want the spiders to get it. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, I, that too. No, no, because you put it, get a bread bin. Yeah. No, because the bread bin would be fucking annihilated by the ants. What? Yeah. Because we're in Australia. There's, you can't escape from the wildlife. Yeah. Like you the, leave the door open for one second too long, your house is fucked. Overridden by ants in like the, the summer. The one thing that makes me not proud uh, to be Thai is one thing that they do, and I just said it, they, they put ice in their beer. That's disgusting. And like, yeah, it's, it's it, I that's mean, I, I see the logic because obviously it's like 30, 35 degree weather. Yeah. Beer's gonna get warm. Uh, beer's gonna get warm a lot faster. But even me, even me, I'm just like, no, no ice my beer, please. No, we're not, we're not, we're not gonna go Is down. Is that like an option you can get at any restaurant? Um, they normally- Or is that like a backyard thing? No, 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 by default. Okay, by right. default in Thailand, in, in a lot of like restaurants, mm. especially if it's open air, right? Um, you order a beer, they, uh, they take a cart out, they take, they give you the beer, and then they give you a glass, and they put ice in it, and then they pour the beer in the glass full of ice. And you have to specifically ask in a lot of places for them not to do that. Right. Um, it's probably God. just trying to hide the shit beer or is something. It, yeah, is there anything worse know. than watered down Thai beer? That's <laughs> awful. Jesus Christ, That's awful. what a nightmare. I mean, I mean, you see that you do that with a Chang beer, and it's just like, this it's beer awful. was already watered down, and uh, you're watering it down even more. It's just beer flavored water at that point. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Germans watching this. Yeah, <laughs> Germans had a heart attack listening to that. Like, fuss. <laughs> but I've that. never, I've never put bread in the freezer. I'll, I'll say that. I'll, I'll say that. We've never put bread in the freezer. Hey, man. You, you <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying you should. I was just saying that's what we did, and uh, I, ne I thought it was normal. I, I, is it? Is it like? It, do you have to put put like eggs in the fridge? Like, yeah. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't remember where I heard it from. Where like, if you have to put like some things in the fridge or some things are fine it being left out. Depends on the country and how it's cleaned. Right. I believe in some places in Europe, uh, they recommend you not to fridge the eggs. Can you Google this? I, if I recall correctly, mm. I think we didn't keep our eggs in the fridge when yeah. I was growing up. Yeah. I don't think we did. I don't think we did either. In, but in, in Japan, England. you're supposed to keep the eggs in the fridge or I don't think it yeah, you have to. Oh, yeah, you have to keep it in the fridge. The European countries say you do not. Yeah, have to that's, yeah, right, yeah. that's right, that's really? right. Really? Yeah, that's right, because I don't, we had it in a cupboard. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. And in America, I think they put it in the fridge. That, I, think, I don't know about Japan. I don't know, as someone who's was just born of like, just kind of, you know, every time I went shopping with my mom and we'd buy eggs, she'd, the moment we should like open the front door, she'd be like, eggs in the fridge now, quickly, they're gonna go bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, apparently it's illegal to wash eggs in Europe. So yeah, like, yeah, you've yeah. got like the stuff- Illegal? So you yeah. put it in the fridge, it's actually gonna grow back to you. What, the egg police are gonna fucking rock up to my door being like, um. <laughs> egg police. <laughs> I think it means for that like, transporting it and stuff. Oh, like that. Right, yeah. not, not, not like that you go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that was the same. <laughs> ABI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't. Yeah, we kept them in the cupboard. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Like bread, Weird. we've never put in the fridge. Eggs, we've never put in the fridge. Potatoes? I don't think we've no, ever put No, potatoes were in the pantry. Yeah, for yeah, us. yeah. Because I think if you put it in the fridge, it grows sprouts, right? I don't know. Or something like that. I don't know. I, I, I know I know potatoes you're not supposed to put in the fridge and onions, yeah. I think. Cause I feel like rules are different with every different country you go to. Cause in Thailand, it's just like 90% of everything goes in the fridge yeah. uh, because it's so much fucking hotter there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's hot, it goes in yeah. the fridge. Yeah. Yeah. Hot and humid is like not the best. Oh, uh, well, that's it the is. best, best uh, temperature and conditions for bacteria, right? So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But um, like other things you shouldn't, like, like chocolate, you're not supposed to put in the fridge, I know. I like putting chocolate in the fridge. Wait, why? Do you, why, why? I think it's because like, if you put chocolate in the fridge, then it turns white. And that just means that like, what? it's gone bad. What? I've never I, seen I a like chocolate, chocolate white. in the fridge. This really? sounds like some bullshit. <laughs> I, I, I really love my chocolate. Hard is it not? Bite into it. Yeah. White stuff is not that the chocolate's gone bad. It's just some other stuff. What, what is that some other stuff? I'm worried. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, like, I, 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 I always heard, yeah, I always heard you shouldn't put chocolate in the fridge for too long. 
Or like you could you you can't let it like sit in the fridge. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Uh, it's it's either sugar or fat, but it's not with the chocolate. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, I, I definitely prefer my chocolate in the fridge. Okay, there's there's two like states of chocolate that are like my favorite. One is just like in the fridge. It's hard. You get a nice nice crunchy bite out of it. Mm. And the second stage, where where it's like a like cheaper chocolate. It's like when it's perfectly room temperature, but not melted. Mm. If 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 like if, when you put it in your mouth, it easily melts. Yeah, yeah. Right, you yeah. put it in your mouth, and it's, it doesn't like warm. it doesn't melt, yeah. but it just like dissolves in right. your mouth. Right, that's right. like that's oh. like my second favorite like state that. of chocolate. You don't like that? No, it's like, it gets all over your gums. You're like, <laughs> when it, when it's but you don't even solid. need to chew at that point. You, you just, just put it. You, you just you put it in the mouth, and it just like disintegrates. I don't want it to do that. It's like a mint. You just let it sit. When it's cold, you can like chew into it, and it like snaps apart and breaks into nice chocolate bites. I like that. I don't like it. I don't like that too much because I've had some instances where I'm like, what's going to break first? The chocolate or my teeth? <laughs> I don't want to find yeah, out. Yeah, th there are some chocolates that are like way too hard yeah. for that. Yeah, there are some. I mean, like the caramel bars I've never put in the fridge. Oh my God. If you, put, if you put hard caramel in the fridge, <laughs> oh, like, yeah. goodbye teeth. Yeah. Your teeth are it's done just for. literally jaw breaking. Yeah, you're just eating way. rocks at yeah. that point. Yeah. yeah. What about ice cream? Do you like Do you like your ice cream like hard or like soft serve? Do you like biting into your ice cream? Hard? Yeah, like lollies. Like, like do, you, do, you, do you like- That's not an ice cream then. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you, yeah, that's- I, 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 I guess- <laughs> you like That's your, an ice block. Your ice cream hard or soft? <laughs> well, you've had like feasts, right? Where it's like, it's like an ice cream on- you, you know, feast where it's like got a, like a chocolate in the middle and it's like an ice cream around it. Right? Oh, you mean like, oh, I, that's more of a, oh, that's not so much ice cream though. It's more of like a ice cream bar, I'd say. Like it's more of a, cause it's got like a layer around it. Yeah, right? cause I know a lot right. of people, they cannot take like, they kind of cannot chew on like cold things or like really cold yeah. things yeah, or frozen yeah, things yeah. at all. I can't. Yeah. Can you not? No. Nope. I fucking, I, I, I love it too much where if, like I start chewing on ice. You yeah, know? I always hear you like you'll be talking to someone. You hear like, <laughs> you're just looking. It's gone. I, I'm that guy. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Gone's not even looking at you. Just staring off to the distance, like <laughs> doing it, crunching. Like, it's like, I love. Fuck, so. I love crunching on ice. God, it's the best texture. Yeah. I love it. I don't know why. I just. It's, yeah. it's not good for my teeth at all. No. I've been told by my dentist and pretty much everyone around me to like not do that. But like there will be times where I'm like, I, I, I literally have to like <laughs> consciously not put ices in my drinks now because I do it so much that everyone's advised me to not do it. Is that the real reason why you don't put ice in your beer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, I don't want to chill this ice, man. <laughs> Fuck the beer. Have, have you been in a social situation where you're like drinking your drink and then you're mm -hmm. like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to, Take this ice. I'm gonna put it in my mouth. Yeah, but the cube's a little too big, and your <laughs> mouth's really cold. But it's in your mouth, right? And it's in there. It's in one of your cheeks. Maybe your your fingers freezing, and yeah. you're yeah. you have that moment where you're like, if I I'm, you're talking to someone, you don't want to look like a weirdo. You're like, <laughs> yeah. If I bite into this, it's gonna look weird. But if I swallow this, I might choke and look weird. So what do I do? I need to reply in 10 seconds when they stop speaking. Do I spit the ice back in the drink and look like a fucking weirdo? Because if I, if I go, so you were saying, yeah. uh, actually, have you ever been in that situation? Yeah, yeah many times. And I'm like, I'm like, my go-to option is normally like, just pray that you can swallow this without dying. Just pray. Really? Yeah, no, yeah, my, yeah. my option is to just start crunching on that shit. I mean, that's I, probably the I've, least weird one. Yeah, that yeah. is the least weird one. I've never had an issue because I'm like constantly crunching. I, I, can't, anyway. I can't crunch it. I'm always definitely worried that they're just gonna think I'm a fucking weirdo when I spit it back in, but yeah, I can't no, yeah. Cause if you spit it back in, they're gonna be like, what the fuck? Yeah, spitting it, yeah, spitting it back in uh, I think I, is, is the worst option. But my yeah. teeth can't bite into it. But I also don't want to be that guy who's like- <laughs> Yeah, if I start choking. <laughs> so I've been in a situation before- like deep where, throating an ice Where ball. I'm yeah. like, all right, boys, here we go. This might be it. I might be dead. Wait, how many ice cubes have you swallowed in your life? Like uncountable, un uncountable like amounts? over 10. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot. Like normally I would just try and like- kind What's of your move, PB? Would kind of, would kind of try and move it around to get it to a swallowable size. Right, right, right. Or Melt maybe, it as fast as you or can. Or maybe right? just get it so that it doesn't have harsh edges. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you've swallowed ice cubes with hard edges? Yeah, no. like where they're like full cube. <gasps> no fucking way, no yeah. fucking way. Yeah. I, I, I would not. I would be so terrified to Normally do that. the technique, but the problem is, is that this is where the technique fails is that I'm normally doing this after I've drank it. So now I can't use water to assist it flowing when I swallow. Right. Yeah. So I have to just swallow a dry ice cube. Yeah, I, I was saying that like, <laughs> like you just like take a swig of water or something that will like, you know, help. that would nah, like help no, melt fine. it a bit. No. Nah. Yeah. I just swallow it. And uh, yeah, one time I think I had a really big scare one time because it got stuck, but I remember I had to play it cool. Yeah. Cause I was like, I don't want to make them do a Heimlich maneuver on me. <laughs> so I would just kind of keep like, 
keep trying to swallow it before <laughs> I take a breath. And then eventually it went down and oh my God, my esophagus was in so much fucking pain. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, never risk your life for a bit of social uh, awkwardness. <laughs> just, I should have just spat it out. But yeah, it was, it was terrifying. I'm just chewing it like a, like I a could feel part. it because it was so big. Yeah. I could feel it going down Christ. and then getting stuck a little bit sometimes. Yeah. And Ugh. then waiting. And then obviously it was because obviously my body's really warm. Yeah. yeah. So it would slowly like dissolve. God, you just gave your esophagus like freeze burn. Or Fuck, it hurts. Yeah. It, hurt, it hurt so much. Yeah, no shit. Uh, don't do that. Uh, the lengths that a British person will go to not be awkward in their social circumstances. <laughs> just spit it out at that just point, man. Swallow. Just. Just spit it out. <laughs> you know what? To if me, I, I was playing like the most important game of you, social you, chess you, you, in you my know life. What, you know what I will say? If I didn't love chewing on ice so much, I would probably do the same thing. I don't want to. I would rather potentially <laughs> risk having a, a choking uh, incident as opposed to having 10 seconds of social awkward interaction. Yeah. That's what I- Really? That, yeah, yeah. That's the British in me. We just can't. We can't do it. I don't know, man. Like, just like, yeah, it's, just it's gonna be I can't. I like, can't yeah, it. it's gonna be fucking weird, you know, like speeding your ice back into your drink and whatever. But like, it's like, I don't know. How many situations can you think of where you've say been to dinner with some other person, right? Or what if it's the first person? date, right? First date with someone. Yeah, first date, for example, right? If you're Don't on the first date with yourself. someone, right? How many times have you gone to a restaurant with, say, another a, a lady, right? Mm. And she's gone. Bleh. Anyway, yeah, and then that at that point, your head's like. No. <laughs> like, wait, I mean, a, 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 part of me would, a part of me would be like, when is when is spitting ice back into your glass the game changer? I'm not gonna lie, it's one of probably the least attractive things you can do. It looks very unattractive, don't you think so? Someone just. I think so. I, 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 <laughs> no, 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 I think something that's less okay, attractive okay. is you choking on an ice no, ball. No, 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 on a date. That, that's a, that's a good. Sh that's a good show. Okay, no, I wouldn't. I, I, <laughs> 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 I've, I I, I've, I've I've actually been in the situation before, actually not like, and I haven't swallowed it. I've just I just remembered, right? It's <laughs> on it's, a date. You want they want to know that you swallow, and you're well on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. Like, like, oh my god, are you the they, did, they didn't even notice it. They, did, they didn't yeah. even know that you just swallowed an ice cube. They, no, Otherwise, they, they probably would have been. <laughs> they can see my fucking Adam's apple <laughs> enlarging three times. I'm like, I do it. I'm like, <laughs> my chest is like. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's 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 the tissue technique, right? It's the tissue technique. No, because, no. because not for a big ice cube. They're gonna see your tissue on the table. No, 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 it's no, no. gonna be a you, big- You don't, you don't put ice. it back on the table. You, you go for the tissue. You pretend you're just wiping your mouth or whatever. You're just like, just- <laughs> 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 no, That's you got, worse. You gotta be subtle about no, it. No, 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 that's not be... subtle. So, because now they're gonna think, oh, this guy just choked out a massive loogie this in is, front of me. This, <laughs> is, this ice cube, this, this, this you, ice cube- What are you talking? When you when you like exude an exude, when when you take out an ice cube out of your mouth, you don't go. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. God, this was this was like a maybe a. What the, well, how uh, big are the ice cube? What we talking? This is yeah. like a four four centimeter cubed, a four <laughs> four by four by four by four centimeters. Let's say, let's say that's a big fucking ice cube, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. That's okay, the okay. Kind of size no, no, no. If, if it's here. that size, I never take the risk of like See, putting was, it in I my was, mouth. Yeah, I'm not putting it in my mouth. I was right. dumb. I don't know why wait, I wait, did wait, it. Because, because, like at that point, right? At that point. Um, you probably would have hardly even drank your drink, right? I'm because- speed. Huh? I'm the speed. I'm, the it's, speed. <laughs> it's, like, it's like gone. Like it, let's say it's a banging cocktail. You yeah. know? Like it's, a, it's yeah. an absolute winner. Yeah. I love the cocktail so much. Or maybe, you know, uh, I, I, I'm like, I'm gonna order a bunch more. I wanna try some more. So I drink it all and the ice cubes are still fully formed. Because like at, at that point, like the ice cube just doesn't feel nice. Four like or three, yeah, like, four or three like if you can feel the edges on the ice cube, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't feel nice Wait, in your mouth. I thought, I thought when you say when you swallow ice cubes, I thought you were talking about like, you know, when you buy like a drink at like McDonald's or something. Are you swallowing whiskey rocks? No, no, it was like a, I'm a, I can't remember which one it was. <laughs> like you're literally swallowing like whiskey like ice it, cube. It was like a full on formed ice cube. Like it was a nice <laughs> ice cube. That's why I wanted to put it in my mouth because I was, I, I, I remember I was, like, I was like, yeah, honestly. I was like, I can get this down my throat. I, mean, I was, yeah, I've been training for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I was like 19. I yeah. was, you know, thinking I was fancy. It probably, I don't know what, it, I don't remember the exact scenario. I remember yeah. the specific scenario, the reason why I was so committed to potentially dying to avoid social awkwardness was yeah. because uh, it was a first date and I yeah. was very nervous and she was very attractive. Okay. I, thought, yeah, yeah. I really wanted this to go well. And so you were like, I'm gonna eat this ice cube. And so <laughs> for some her. reason, I think the 19 year old like 
it was tapping into like the fit tw 15, 12 year old to me that was like, yeah. that ice cube looks real good. <laughs> Cause you know, sometimes you see an ice cube and you just put it in your mouth. Cause yeah, you're, cause you're course. dumb and you're a kid and you, you want to- Of course. I, now would I do it? it? No, it, I have it, no desire. It really depends, okay? It, re it really depends. As someone who has eaten a lot of fucking as, ice as cubes ice, in my life. As an ice cube <laughs> chewer as, connoisseur. Uh, as, as the ice cube connoisseur here, yeah. like there's so many different factors, right? Because sometimes, sometimes it's big, but like for some reason it's like hollow inside, right? So mm. you, you can take a good you crunch out of yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes it it's just like that. completely solid. It's it just like a solid, solid block of solid block of ice. And there is no, like there is no biting down on that unless it's at least a little bit melted yeah. at all. And at that point, it's gonna take at least like one or two minutes, irregardless of the social, social I, I, I situation. I start doing like the grinding technique. Oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's awful for your teeth. Yeah, it's awful for my teeth, but I'm like, yeah. I take one bite and I'm like, oh, okay, this isn't a hollow one. No, no. All right, switch to space to grinding technique. Well, yeah, it was, I, I remember it was quite a hefty boy. It was, yeah. it was a yeah. weighty boy. Hence why, again, I wanted to put it in my mouth. <laughs> it, it looked, it looked, I want all the trash they said it's of this yeah. taken out of context. It looked too good not to like to allow it to go to waste. So I had to. Of course, yeah. No, so no, no. For me, it's the opposite. For me, it's, if it's like perfectly, the edges are like perfectly rounded. That's 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 the that's peak ice. That's peak ice to put peak in your mouth. Ice. That is peak ice to put in your mouth. And it because it all, God, you God know, you're crunched sort of straight, straight away. With like the giant balls yeah, of the whiskey. Yeah, yeah. God's like, fuck. <sighs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no joke. I, every time I'm, I get like recommended a video of like one of the waiters like shaving ice, yeah. it's what it's like the most satisfying oh, yeah. in yeah. my life. Holy yeah, fuck! It is I need to say I don't want to put it in my mouth because um, I don't want to die. Um, oh yeah, I yeah I've learned my lesson. I'm yeah. not 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 fucking with that. It was. Awful. Also like clear ice, superior ice. Superior ice to like the, the fucking frosted ice that you get where it's like clear outside and frosted in the middle. That's, that's trashed here ice. Is that, isn't that get you, that out of here. This is just like level one bartending, right? <laughs> no, I, I mean, just like I to, think the only to, chew, to chew on oh, as well. Oh, to, to chew on. on. To chew on. Yeah. Sorry, I, I'm just, this, this is like my fucking five-year-old brain is like, right now. This is like my favorite crayons taste, like <laughs> yeah. level of conversation. It's like, I like the, the maroon one. <laughs> I like cherry red because it's got the word cherry. Do, do you prefer? <laughs> Uh, do you prefer cubed ice or how do you feel about- uh, I don't how, give a shit. <laughs> no, 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 cause, cause I know a lot of people who fucking hate crushed ice. Oh yeah, okay. Actually, yeah, I do hate crushed I, ice. I really like crushed I ice. I like crushed ice. Yeah. Why did you- It's like a slushy. You get like, okay. So you, everyone knows my soda take, right? Where I, I like yeah, it just- the wrong one. <laughs> I, yeah. I just, I like it where, you know, you take a little bit of the fizz out. And like, to me, like crushed ice has more of a surface area to just, to just like, to just like make soda like the perfect, the perfect texture <laughs> no, and the perfect no, flavor. Because if you drink it without a straw, right? Yeah. Like, oh, it's, it's it's great because if you drink it with without a straw, then you get a lot of crushed ice that you can chew on it. It's <laughs> it's, it's perfect. You get the best of both worlds. This is like this is like you're like yeah, I don't mind they bring extra extra colors in the crayon pack. Which means I can eat one of them. <laughs> this no. wants to draw. This wants to eat. Yeah, yeah. This is. I I, I don't I don't want. To, to taste the ice fucking slush in my mouth. I want to taste the drink being cold. This is why when we go to Denny's in Japan, I hate their fucking ice machine. Also, yeah, the no, ice is always the, the shitty, the shittiest like shaved ice. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. drink it and you just get a mouthful of shaved ice and you got to do that technique where you're like, <laughs> like, like also, also, I, I like putting it in my mouth. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I, do, I, just, I like it when it's like at the bottom of the glass and then you do this and then just- Oh my it's God. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. No, but it doesn't get- it's, it's, it's the last little bit where you get no, the flavor. Yeah, yeah. You it, it's basically just shaved ice. It doesn't, yeah, exactly. a little bit it doesn't more go work. to the bottom, it stays at the top. No, I mean, uh, I mean, you gotta like drink it, you know, you got, I mean, it depends because have you, You've hung out with me, so you've you've seen how this much guy, shaved I've hung ice. Out with you. You've I've seen hung how out much shaved you. ice I put into there. Minimum, yeah. The minimum amount of shaved ice I put into a cup, if I have the choice, is half the cup. Yeah, that's but the minimum for this, me. This is why when Gant goes to the movie theater, he's like, "Wow, look how much value I'm getting. I get, I've <laughs> drank four drinks today." He's like, "No, Gant, you've drank two. <laughs> this is filled this up with buys, ice. This man buys this Lay's like, chips and goes like, like <laughs> to me, like to me, the saddest sight I've I ever seen in my life, right, yeah. is when you go to like a shaved ice machine." 
and people put like a bit in, like 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 a tiny bit, like five percent of the fucking cup. I do like one percent. <laughs> and then and most of the and time, then I don't you, put any. Of and then you f- yeah, and then you fill up with the soda, right? I'd, I'd rather people put no in because you fill up with, with the soda. The saddest fucking sight is just seeing like one or two bits of ice just like floating around in the soda. Like that that that's doing nothing. It's literally doing nothing. Why would you put ice in if it's if that's all the ice you're gonna put in? I'm not even gonna cap. I've never given a shit. <laughs> I've never been like seething rage being like, <laughs> God damn it. I have because ne- you can't ne- even chew on the ice. Next- that's, that's why, <laughs> next that's up. why. It doesn't matter cause it's gonna, probably gonna fucking melt. I'm, that's I'm gonna, the point, right? I'm gonna predict Gant's next take. Uh, he thinks uh, that soup should be exclusively eaten with straws. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, I don't, I don't I mean, think so that. It's, it's just, yes. a, dr- it's just yes. a drink, isn't it? Yeah, he's like, oh, it's a drink. It's, it's, soup uh, is a drink. It's quick, it's uh, less yeah. messy, uh, less messy. And curry is a drink. <laughs> I want clown take you to come out with next guy. Oh, no. oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm collecting them right now. Just, yeah. just, give, just give me more food takes. The infinity stones of shit takes. <laughs> Christ. Shit takes can be whatever I want them to be. <laughs> I think it's only a Southeast Asian thing, right? Where uh, you can, you, you buy a soda at like a stand or something. Right. I don't know if I've told this story before, but you buy a soda at a stand or something, and then they will serve it to you in a plastic bag. Yes. Is that Southeast Asian? Is that Southeast yes. Asian? Yes. Yes. Can they, <laughs> so, can so, they not afford plastic containers, or, so, or is this like an artistic choice? Like, I don't know why it is, right? But I remember the first time, like that's as weird as bag. I remember the first time head. because I remember I thought this was a normal thing. Right, because when when I was a kid, I'd go to like a Thailand every year, and yeah. on a especially hot day, you'd you'd go to a stand, you'd order a soft drink, and what happens is uh they will have a glass bottle, and then they will yeah like like that like that like that. <laughs> so what happens is they they will have a glass <laughs> bottle of whatever soda you order, yeah. they'll uncap it, and then they'll take a plastic bag out, just like put in that. F- fuck ton of ice in the bag and just pour the soda into the bag and then oh, give it to you. It doesn't sound that bad. That's actually, that's actually kind of cool. They give you like a comically large straw? Yeah. They just give you a straw. <laughs> they, they give you like a, a twirly straw. <laughs> with it. So like what happens, like, let's say you're like, well, fuck, you know, this is a lot of soda. Like how much are we talking? Is it like a normal can, 330 mil? Yeah, 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 like a normal All can. Right, let's say you're halfway through the can, you're like, Oh, sheesh, I wanna just put it down for a second. <laughs> you can't put it down. It's like, well, let me hang up my drink yeah, real quick. Do I have quick. to find a hanger? Like, how do I put it yeah, down? Yeah, so a lot of restaurants will have these little little hangers no. on like on like the table or something. That's where actually kind of cool. You could, you just, hang, you could just hang below the table. Yeah. You could just hang the soda on. Yeah, so like, if you wanna be like, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Like taxi drivers and lorry drivers in Singapore would have like hooks. Wait, okay. Yeah, that's true. I completely forgot about that. They got the, they got the hooks as well. Okay, okay. question then, question. <laughs> we were, cause, Cause we were talking about chewing on ice. Yeah. How the fuck do you chew the ice from a plastic bag? Oh, he bag? shovels it with his hands. Do you just like grab it with your hand? Because you can't like, you can't fucking do this, right? So when you're after, you, you've done drinking. So yeah. you take the plastic, you get, can actually just take one by one and just like, and they're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you take you, or you take the straw and you just like so, scoop, you scoop a little bit up. Also, as, as, are these like <laughs> brand new plastic bags, or are these like reused from the guy's grocery shopping? Like, I don't know. Like, okay. like you, just, you can, like, you can oh, buy one, like you can oh, buy. Oh, yeah, so you got the Aldi bag, bro. I'm using little, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never really thought about that until. Yeah, I, I, I want to know like how clean that. Yeah, shit yeah. Is. I'd be very concerned <laughs> if he just whips out like some crushed one from somewhere. I'm like, uh, what the. Found yeah, a, a part of Southeast Asian culture that we don't normally talk about. I didn't realize yeah. uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good drink. Yeah, it's 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 good. I, I, I like- Surely the uh, I, I, I know this is complete nostalgia talking, but I like the way that- Oh yeah, sure. the amount of plastic in a bag is enough to make like one cup, right? No, am I crazy? What do you mean? Like surely you can make a cup from one bag well, of like plastic. It's like thinner, it's like thinner, right? Yeah, but plastic bags are quite what, a lot what I, no, what I want to know is why do they not just give you the bottle. <laughs> yeah, why not? Because you're on the ice. Why, why do they have to the get, grab the bottle and empty it into a bag? Why can't they I, just give you the bottle? I believe because they just recycle the bottles. Um, oh, okay. So they, they send them back off. I yeah. believe I, that's- that's. I hope so. That's, you can get a lot of drinks in South Asia that come in like a tub. So they, yeah. they scoop it out into- But surely it. like the, the plastic, <laughs> the, the plastic used on all those plastic bags, you could just convert into one cup. There's a lot of plastic in one plastic bag. Yeah, as the, as the turtles well know. Yeah. Oh no, like like I, I don't think I, I think I don't think a lot of Southeast Asian countries at the moment uh, have much awareness about 
plastic and trying to reduce the amount of plastic. I, I remember, uh, I remember- I I, I'm just genuinely curious, like yeah. how, yeah. Wh why it was I just, decided I just, I just genuinely think that that's just like how it's been. Like some dude was just one day was just like, <laughs> what, if, what, if we, what if we put it yeah, in a plastic I mean, bag? I, 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 I don't know where the plastic bag came from. That, that should be hilarious I, I, I and then be, it just spread. I could be showing my ignorance with that, but I'm just like, surely there's a better way. <laughs> I'm sure there is, yeah. I'm but sure we're, there we're, is like, Obviously well. we're very wasteful with our cups and stuff. We line Starbucks cups like wax and maybe, shit. Maybe they just, away, I don't like, know, maybe, maybe they just don't give a shit. They're just like, I just, want, I just want my drink. I don't care what it's in. Yeah. I guess. I mean, I would be like, fuck, well. Or maybe, you know, maybe they are, they are thinking it in a recycling manner where like after they finish the drink, they'll be like, all right, off to the supermarket. Just like what? Fold it inside out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> fucking, <laughs> <laughs> all right, brand new. There we go. Put uh, my groceries. So <laughs> like, all right. So you have a car, right? Yeah. You did the cup holder's just useless? You just huh? like, or is it just we like- don't, We don't use car. Okay, so yeah, you just hang it up on like, you know, the, uh, what's, what's, what's the thing that you- uh, Bro, God forbid you, you get a bump in that car or you go- <laughs> the, the, You just coke all over. You, you, just, like, you just go over like a patchy bit. Your, your fucking coke is coming out. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I mean, I should have tied it up. <laughs> should have double knotted like, that shit. You yeah. just ordered your fucking triple latte from Starbucks <laughs> and you're going up the mountain road. It's like, oh. Jesus Christ! Well, no, what's the worst is like, what if you're, you know, just walking along and then you happen to like nick onto something and then the, there's a tear in the bag yeah. and, you're, and your well, coke is just spilling out. Yeah, then you're just fucked. <laughs> you got a shotgun. That, that has happened before. Oh, you are just, like, just fucked. There's just something about a cup. That, uh, <laughs> I think we got it right a few thousand years ago. Yeah. I, think, uh, I think we got it right. You yeah. Know? Yeah. <laughs> I think, Cups are invented for a reason. I think the cup, <laughs> the cup was pretty damn good, you know? I don't want to sound like an asshole. I'm not trying to like be like your culture is not saying it's the next best thing after sliced bread or anything, but like, it's, you know, it's pretty good. Pretty sure the cup came before the wheel. Like that was, we had a, we had a good right yeah. there. Yeah. Nice, the cylindrical, uh, the cylindrical can, right? That, that was the best invention. Right, I've seen I've seen that YouTube video. Yeah, I think everyone has seen. Yeah, I've seen that YouTube like video. Thirty million views. Yeah. That guy going. It's a pretty neat invention, actually. It's uh, the pressure is designed. Yeah, okay, we get it. We get it. You watch YouTube. Yes. Speaking of YouTube, um, you, said that, you said that's so British. Speaking of YouTube, I've been YouTube. Wa I've been watching a few more YouTube shorts recently. Even though, like, I, I like I know, like, every time I go on like a YouTube shorts binge, it's like it's like bad for my health. You know, like, yeah. there's it's to me watching YouTube shorts or watching TikToks is the equivalent of eating a McDonald's or eating fast food, right? Mm. Like, I know I shouldn't do it, but sometimes, sometimes you're just lying in bed and you just scroll through and you're like, fuck. You just want that quick meal. You, 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 and you're like, fuck, 30 minutes have passed and I've like consumed nothing. Uh, so like I've, I've fallen down into like, I fell, I fell down into this hole of like, you know, life advice. YouTube or like oh life hack oh no. YouTube shorts. Oh no. Oh no. I've been right. there, yeah. And it's just like, like, Remember before where we went through that life hack phase of like Buzzfeed videos where like the hack isn't actually a hack. Yeah. So I thought that died out, but apparently that just went to fucking TikTok. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Cause I like, I, I, I remember I saw, I saw like a few like career hacks of things you can do in like to help you increase your chances of getting a job interview, right? And there was this- I think I saw that. <laughs> and, and there's this TikTok of like that. This is how this is how it goes. The job interviewer offers you a glass, glass of water. water. <laughs> I saw the same thing yesterday. <laughs> she yeah. what is this? The black guy, right? Yeah, the black yeah. guy. Yeah, so the, the job interviewer offers you a glass of water and then you take the water and that's the hack. Because the hack is if you take the glass of water when it's offered to you, they ask you a difficult question and you just go, Well, you see, the thing is, and and, yeah. and the hack was because you have a glass of water, it gives you more time to think about the answer. And that was the hack. And I was just like losing my mind <laughs> that you could call this career advice or it's a like fucking life thousand likes. And I'm like, who? This, this feels like, like I, the only time I ever see people take a sip of water right before answering the question is it like, like the criminal trials. Yeah. <laughs> like when Mark Zuckerberg was being like, uh, questioned on the, by the Senate, yeah, yeah. every single question he'd be asked to go. Yeah, he was using a life hack, dude. He was thinking about those answers, right? But I'm saying you don't want to look like a criminal. When I ask you a question, you don't want to be going like, I'm just, I'm just like, I, I, I feel like a more like logical thing would be like, uh, can I just take a bit of time to think about this answer? Yeah. So I, no, like, no, no, because you got to seem confident. I'd be, like, yeah. I'd be like, that is a fantastic question. Yeah. 
think of the way to appropriately answer that. No, you, you, what if you combine it, right? Water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta combine it with the water. That's a fantastic- what, 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 if, what if the water doesn't give you enough time? Are, are you just like downing an entire fucking jug of water? You're like, sitting there for like 10 minutes just going- They're like, gone. What? They're like, gone. What is your- Can I get some water, please? <laughs> they're like, they're like, gone. Your favorite food is, oh shit. Well, what if, or what if, you know, you're just like, you, you get off of the water, right? And you're just like really thirsty. And then you get to that really difficult question. You're just like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do I do now? The TikTok never told me. <laughs> Sir, you've gone through three liters of water during this interview. Are you, are you feeling okay? I want to say like 99% of life hacks or some shit. I just immediately forget and never remember and will never ever practically use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've like, seen so many of them, especially when it comes to like fucking survival. These, the, like these these kinds of like hacks or adv like f advice you see on TikToks. Like I don't know if we've ever talked about this on a podcast. I think we've only talked about it in private. But like the fucking shack financial advice, <laughs> which is an entire My genre, favorite. <laughs> which is which is an entire I think an entire mm. genre of video on TikTok and YouTube shorts yeah, now where, it, yeah. where it's just like shack motivational like life advice. And half of it is just like taking your paycheck and apparently just ripping it in half. It's like Shaq, what's the difference between being rich and being wealthy? And it's like, when you're rich, you do this, but the wealthy do this. <laughs> uh, One million likes on YouTube like, shorts. Thank you, Shaq. I am no longer poor now. I, I, I will, I, Shaq's I will say, rid of poverty. I, Shaq is a very nice guy. He's he is very a very generous, nice guy. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. But, the financial advice, the problem is with a lot of these financial advices on like TikTok and YouTube. And again, I think Shaq is somewhat guilty of this. It assumes you're even making enough money <laughs> yeah. to save. Like most people don't, aren't able to save money. Exactly. Cause like we're fucked right now. Yeah. Like you, you, most people spend all their paycheck. That's, hmm. that's how it is. How do you then go to them and be like, you're just not saving enough. You're just not saving enough. That rent, maybe you can get rid of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Who's, who's living down. on minimum wage and being like, oh, I didn't I do should, this. I did. are, are there people who spend irresponsibly? Hell yeah, there are. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the reason why everyone isn't rich? No. No. <laughs> and no. It, it was just so weird falling into this hole of just like, you know, the, you see these TikTok with like made up scenarios where the, the perfect life hack for that scenario will pop up. It's because always the same. It's one guy is in this part of the frame and he's like, so you want this? And then another guy with the <laughs> yeah. other frame, probably with glasses or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 that's not how you do it. It's yeah. literally always like that. And with the worst acting and the yeah. worst script. And then it's like 20 million views. And I'm like, I'm yeah. quitting my job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm it, terrible at my job. And it's just like an entire fucking genre of that just takes place in the Darman universe. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just like the extended Darman universe where, you know, everything just works out because of these, <laughs> because I drank water in my fucking job interview. Like <laughs> the DCU. <laughs> <laughs> the Darman <laughs> Cinematic Universe. <laughs> oh wait, the, the one that also just like, that I've been getting a lot recently off YouTube shorts is the ones where like, the ones where they take like, you know, those like five minute crafts, or, like <coughs> bullshit, like life yeah. hacks. And then there's always some like dude who's like, I'm gonna find out if this is actually legitimate or not. And then they do it and then they try it themselves and they're like, Okay, it was legitimate. Like for more. Wait, that's a thing? That's a thing. Okay. I've seen so many of those, like so many times where it's like, oh, if you, you know, you get a, a black marker and you draw it on your hand and then you take a picture of it on flash, then it apparently zaps you or some shit like that. And and it's always some guy being like, no, it's not. Fact or cap. All right, let's try it. Let's try and figure it out. My, my, let's try and figure it out. My, my new favorite shorts or TikTok mm. uh, category is, uh, the TikToks that need way more explanation as to what's going on, but they the person doing the video does not offer any explanation as to why they're doing the thing they're doing. <laughs> like what? There was one time I watched this TikTok and it was a guy, he was like, so here's how I made a case to carry my iPad farm. And then he makes the case and I, I, I me and all the other comments were like, why do you have an iPad farm? <laughs> like. I think, I think I've, I've seen, seen that one. one. Is that yeah. with the long case? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like, and like I, he made this video just explaining how he made a case for his iPad farm. And I was like, the so, whole time, like, why did you have an iPad farm? No, 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 he makes this iPad farm to test out if he could make enough passive income. That's it. Yeah, to, that's uh, it. to justify making an iPad farm. And like me, like there are so many layers to this TikTok that yeah, I just yeah, want yeah. answers to. Yeah, I'm like, question, <laughs> how are you making this money first of all? Yeah, like, like what passive income what, revenue are you doing? What is this app you're using? Yeah, like, I know there's some people who run like Spotify farms. Yeah. They're like, 
have like tons and tons of phones and just play the same song like on loop. Oh wow! And then they like get revenue from it. Oh shit! Um, but obviously, like you use a lot of electricity, so <sighs> yeah. it's kind of I, 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 it's some things like that. But yeah, I mean, it's again, there's so many of these where they're like, we're gonna do this thing, or they're like, or, or you felt like you just came into like the 90th episode of a show, and you're like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? And the people making the videos don't think that like anyone might need context or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just one line. Like, <laughs> no, because no. like, you, like I know exactly what you mean though. Because they will always start off the video with just like last time I made like a dildo that could fly or something yeah. like that. And you guys have been asking me to make this, so I'm going to make it. I'm just like, what, what, what? what, yeah, what I got I missed? so many comments saying that you should make it hover. <laughs> I'm like, what have I missed in the fucking lore of this? You know, like yeah, how, yeah. how how far back do I go? And the thing is, like, it's impossible to like try to like triangulate this when you click on their channel or yeah, something, yeah, right? Yeah. Cause it's just like, it's not always in chronological order yeah. either. I don't know, yeah, YouTube Shorts is like, <laughs> there's so many different like holes you can slip down into YouTube Shorts and fucking TikTok. And it's like insane as well, because like, especially with the YouTube Shorts, cause I don't really use TikTok, but like with YouTube Shorts, it knows exactly what to recommend you next because it's like, oh, you spent one extra second on this one fucking Shaq motivational TikTok. <laughs> That must mean you won 20 more. <laughs> yeah, that's why like sometimes I'm like, if I watch a video that shit for too long, I'm like, fuck. Now yeah. the algorithm thing, now the algorithm thinks I like this video. <laughs> and like the next 10 videos will be something to do with that. I'm I, like, I, fuck. I, I wish there was some way to just tell YouTube I didn't like the video that they sent me, but unfortunately they removed the dislike. Yeah, so, I know. So. There's a lot of TikToks or YouTube shorts that I watch and I'm like, I hated this video. I want to let them know I hated it without being yeah. an asshole. Um, but I can't now. So yeah. I just have to, and I've already given them my watch time. So I've, they, for all YouTube knows, that was the best experience of my life. The one that uh, made me fall down, the rabbit hole for YouTube shorts for me is, uh, I saw this one YouTube short of uh, the, the founder of 2chan. Uh, Cause he has like a live streaming thing. Yeah. And he like, uh, he's called Hiroyuki, but like he, he's very, uh, you know, cause he's the creator of 2chan. Yeah. He's a bit, based in his opinions. <laughs> okay. Um, Gamer? Like very controversial opinions, okay. right? Okay. Like he's clearly- Based in, the, in a negative yeah. term. Yeah, based in a negative <laughs> term. And uh, I just watched one because I couldn't fucking believe the answer. And now my YouTube shorts are just this Japanese dude saying a lot of racist and controversial oh, no. shit. And I was like, I don't, I didn't, I didn't watch this because I liked it. I watched it because I was trying to process what the fuck well, this guy was talking that, that's about. That's been a lot of criticism of YouTube, Facebook and all these platforms. Exactly. Cause they push you to the more fringes of the content. And um, yeah, I mean, that's one of the parts yeah. that's not so good. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think one of the weirdest ones I've, uh, the one of the weirdest genres I've seen that's popped up recently is we've gotten to the point where YouTube shorts are now commentating on YouTubers. Oh right? yeah, yeah, where yeah. you'll be like, Ludwig just did this last <laughs> week. You won't believe what yeah, he did. And yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just this like, is why Saikuno doesn't take sponsorships. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, all right, cool, I guess. <laughs> like, it's like, Mr. Beast just sent chocolate bars to every influencer you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's like it's, newsflash. <laughs> oh my I don't God. know. It's, it's just, it's just so weird. It's um, well, so weird. It's just so weird seeing all these like new genres and new types of content pop up um, <sighs> on, on, I guess, like a new for a new type of platform and everything like that. Yeah. Um, but like, I, I don't understand it at all. Do you think YouTube Shorts gonna stick around? Do you think it's gonna get yeah. to a point where it's, 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 I it's mean, going TikTok to be like, stuck around? So yeah, yeah. It's, gonna stick around. it's you know, it's what it is. But at the end of the day, the long form content is still very valuable, and that's yes. what makes the money. Of course, yeah. Until, until TikTok find a way to uh, properly monetize that platform <laughs> without yeah. uh, paying their creators way less than yeah. uh, what they deserve, then uh, yeah, I, th I think long long form content will be king. For now, that's us. That's, that's us. That's, that's us. Literally, that's, that's, that's literally us. Sure. That's literally us. We, we, we have zero bias whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely zero bias. We don't bias. upload ridiculously long yeah. videos to YouTube. We only <laughs> upload six hours of content a week. <laughs> like, <laughs> but hey, that's just a theory, a trash theory. <laughs> You can do the fucking outro. Fuck well, look, look at these patrons. Wow. <laughs> look at all these Patreons. Wonderful like, patrons. Yeah. They all do Wonderful. this. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> do you do this? Do you take, do you drink water? Uh, do you ask for water? Do you drink water? <laughs> do you ask for water during your job interviews? No, I don't, I don't believe in it. <laughs> no. do, do the thing, Joe. Do the all thing. All right. Well, hey, if you'd like to support longer form content like Trash Taste, then uh, consider going to our Patreon, <laughs> patreon.com slash Trash Taste. Also follow us on Twitter. Send us your memes with the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. But uh, yeah, yeah. If, what, if, what was this episode? I, don't I have no fucking, fucking clue. We, we well, went like, so if, much if, shit. if we're ever like in the job interview and we're like the interviewers, you know, yeah. give me a are, two liter jug. If, if they <laughs> ask for water, I'm gonna say no. 
be like, <laughs> we, be like real we, 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 we don't take things easy here Sigma at Trash Grimes. Taste. Sigma <laughs> Sigma Are you a real order. Sigma? I'm doing job interview hard mode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. All right, bye. See ya.